this episode brought to you by One-Eyed Willie's Condom Shack. Chester Copperpot swears by them. Hey, everybody. We're watching The Goonies, and you're listening to Miscast Commentary. You're listening to Miscast Commentary. Two guys have seen way too many movies and have way too much time on their hands. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Now here's your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Welcome to Miscast Commentary. I'm Joe Finley. And I'm Todd. Tebow the Sailor Murray. And we are here with the beginning of season five. Season five. Holy shit. I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe the last time we joined it was the, the end of the season. I was like, yeah. Jesus Christ. I was positive we wouldn't be friends this long. <laughs> <into> this. <laughs> I was hoping we wouldn't be. That's why I but started. Here we are. That's why I started the whole stream thing. I'm trying to find. I, I'm trying to find a way. And go look, man. I'm too busy with this thing that I'm really sorry, popular dude, with. Sorry, bro. But it's. But I'm. But I'm not good at that either. So it's. <laughs> here we are. All right. Very excited for this one. We're bringing the Goonies. We're bringing a classic. We're bringing a, a, a good fun one. Uh, My mom's suggestion. That is true. I, we yeah. were talking about what movie to do. I threw out some suggestions, and then he talked. He reached out to his mom and aunt. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, Goonies, uh, Goonies was the winner. Yeah, Goonies wins. It definitely. And you know what was really funny? The day you brought that up, we watched the very end of Goonies. No way. It was on TV, and uh, I think it was on AMC or something like that. And we were sitting there, and I showed just like just the very end, like it was just as like the like they were just getting off the ship. Ah, it was like right around there. So I just got off the ship too. I'm fobbing. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. Right. So. Fresh off the boat, baby. I didn't know. I'm glad you actually uh, elaborated because I didn't have any idea what you were talking about. I was Fresh like, fobbin, baby. I'll fucking, oh, yeah. Like, you know, like sometimes when my kid just goes off and he's like, I went to the thing and I had a dream that I did this. I'm like, yep, sure. <laughs> Great, buddy. That was kind of where terrific, I was. That's terrific, bud. That's, that's kind of where I was at with that, but I'm Press happy. Play. I know I need my notes first. Who cares? Supposed to be first. No, because then I won't have my notes. I'm re- I need to be ready to fucking fire right off the bat. <laughs> even though I might not say anything about this for the rest of the thing. Right. All right, and here we go. We are pressing play now. So far, so good. <laughs> the Warner there Brothers. There it is. I don't like it. It's like a still. I know it does Warner seem Brothers. like it's uh, okay. No, it's good. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. I love. I love it's that like Skeletor. That goon. It did a little, didn't it? Look at uh, that font. Mm-hmm. Is that the Goonies font? It is a Goonies font, yes. Is it, is oh, that would be a fun one. Font? I think I just got our next T-shirt. Uh, yeah, you can find you can find that in a, in a heartbeat. The Goonies. The only, they don't make them like this anymore, and I use the skull. You dirty. No, bastard. I'm saying the, I'm, I'm T-shirt designing. Not, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah you, I hear you, bud. You see how you're scum. Yeah, I just. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that sounded a lot like Harry Dean Stanton. It is not, but... It does sound like him. Mm-hmm. So Richard Donner directed this. Uh-oh. This is like the same prison that, like, Jeffrey that Epstein. Guy, that that guy, uh, <laughs> like, hung himself. <laughs> See, just like Jeffrey Epstein, yeah. like, look, it's, it's fake. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. I'll get him. You schmuck. It's like the oh. same prison set where Freddy, uh, like, hung Buddy. Yeah, yeah. Dead, dead, there you go. Boom. Hey, Robert Davi. This uh, guy's the fucking man. He's the man, except I still have such bad memories about him when I was at that Comic-Con. I'm just like hearing him talk about like, like not like grow. Like it's not like he was talking about 13 year olds, but he was talking about girls that he's way too old to be talking about. Well, like, like, and he's like, yeah, like that. He's like, he's like the hot girls coming. He's like, oh yeah, check out those hot girls. And I'm like, ew, you're <laughs> gross. He's like, I'm getting all the girls. I you heard think him, I'm Joe Pantoliano. I, I was, well, I was lined up to meet Joey Pants here. <laughs> Joey Pants, who I, he, who is the, the nicest dude. I've got his autograph in my bedroom. In fact, uh, I, I under your pillow. Yep. Yeah. I need something. I need, like her. 
What is her name? Do you have <laughs> yeah. her name? Her her name's Ann Ramsey. She's in ver- she was in stuff, but she wasn't in any. The only other thing of Throw real Mama note from the train. was Throw Mama from the Train, which I believe she, I believe that was the movie she was nominated for an Oscar for. What? She's, she has an Oscar nomination under her belt and everything before this. I'm not sure. I'll have to, I gotta ask. She's seriously nominated for an Oscar? Yeah. <clears throat> there is. Oh, oh this yeah. is my man. Oh, I know. What but a movie. It is. And it, like, just think, like, because I, when I was doing my research, it said there were three Oscar nominees. What did she munch in there? Like I, a cracker? Could be. She seems calm under pressure. Yeah. She's done this before. She's the head of the family. She's the mom of this so-called crime three-person crime family. Yeah. So yeah, she she got um yeah, she got um nominated for Throw Mama from the Train. No way. Yeah. Like as best supporting? Uh yeah. So so this is actually so so is it gonna be a bad like like I'm gonna be that guy? Mm-hmm. Like look at her. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know who actually w- tried out for that role? Heather Langenkamp from Nightmare on Elm Street. No shit. She tried out for it, and they said she was perfect for the role, except for the fact that she was just too old. She was twenty years old when the movie, when they were doing. No shit. It's funny you say that because they thought that the cell looked like where he hung Buddy and Freddy. Yeah, and the first one, mm-hmm. where's the guy? I didn't kill her. I didn't stab. Oh, yeah. there he is. Yeah, he killed Jason once. Yeah. Oh, and then became him. Yes, and then and then got too popular, and they pulled him out. That's right. I still love that story, and I still love how pissed off he is about it. I could have been Jason in some of the worst Friday the Thirteenth movies, <laughs> right? But instead, I had to be in Gremlins and like, and then like develop like a legit career for myself. There she is. I love Martha Plimpton. I so do. Much. Is that Martha Plimpton? Yeah, I like her. She's love- in a lot of shit. Yeah. And um, we'll get to everybody kind of as we're meeting them. Is this a no go now? Is this no good? Because he's Asian and he's got all the techno things going. Is this a is no. this a bad thing? He's no. not Long Duck Dong. He's 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 short Duck Dong in every which way. <laughs> he, he I do this. I go fast. I, I take pictures. Like he's doing. Here I am. <laughs> oh, chunky. Oh. oh. See, well, what is he having his Pepsi cup like a strawberry shake? You know what, what the fuck would, was that? Yeah, I have no idea. You know what would have been wonderful if they would have done this like it. Where it's like they did this and then part two was them all as adults, but not like because they're doing the sequel thing or whatever. I don't want that. Are I want really? The, apparently, apparently, it's in development. It's oh still, my God, it'd be amazing. It's still on. What could it be to go find the ship? I have no idea. Um, like if the ship takes off and then they go find it or something? I, th- or? I think that they, I, what I think happens is they've all kind of gone their separate ways as is, but they all come together and they find something that's like another thing. And they're like, what, like, you know, what if we do it? We go on like another adventure type thing. And they're all like, we're too old for that. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, like let's, and let's it's, it's, it. it's like that kind I of love a thing. How this I here. It's like great. story by Steven mm-hmm. Spielberg screenplay by Chris Columbus. Yes. Which is awesome. But mm-hmm. I wonder like story, what does that even mean? Spielberg's like Chris. Yeah. Bunch of kids, small town. Yeah. Get you some adventures. Write it. You know it, what I mean? It's like, wow, you certainly wrote the story to that. Yeah, well, uh, st- Story by will also have, like, if he's got any kind of say over the story, that'll mm-hmm. be a part of it too, right? So that'll be him saying, oh, like, uh, you, you know what? Like, this should be, like, centered around, like, Pirate's Gold and, like, that sort Richard of thing. Richard Donner directed this. Yeah, that's, I said Superman. that. Superman. I said that right off the bat. So, yeah, he directed a bunch of episodes of Twilight Zone, The Omen, Superman 1 and 2, but then there was that whole thing with the, mm-hmm. and then the, and then his version got released later. The original DC cut. <laughs> we got the Donner cut before the Snyder cut. Damn right. Um, but he directed Lady Hawk, all the lethal, lethal weapon movies, Scrooged, uh, Maverick, Assassin's Conspiracy Theory. He was a producer on Tales from the Crypt, Any Given Sunday, and X-Men. Yep. I have all the Tales from the Crypts. His name is in there. It's awesome. There's Thanos. Thanos. Before is the, he went interstellar and his got very crippling fir- and crazy. Yep. This was his very first acting role. Really? Yeah. This is, you go on IMDb, this is his first no thing. No shit. So yeah, and he's the only been one in stuff like for a while, well, and and that's the thing. He's the only one who's that's who that's the case for wow. out of the main cast. There it's he is. All, it was a lot of people's second movie, but it okay, was okay. So there's uh, my man, Sean Astin, little baby boy. There's my man, Samwise. You damn fucking right. Yeah. Save the whole fucking universe, baby. Yeah. I didn't add him in my list because we've talked about him before, like a lot before, and it's not right. nothing really new exactly. going on. Exactly. Like yeah. he's got a purple rain shirt on. Yeah. I, I know 
you know, recently Corey Feldman, look at him, so young, innocent. Yeah. I I know that he said, you know, he's been molested and blah, blah, blah. And yeah. if he comes out with the names. Oh, fuck. What just happened? Oh, Todd's going to do the truffle shuffle. I'm going to take a picture. Okay. I, I, this Come is on. this part's going to be. Shh, don't scream, please. I have sleep Come family. On. There, oh, Todd Aww. just knocked, knocked over the microphone. Just let, uh, just let it go. Oh. <laughs> it's the first time we're going to have Instagram posts in a while. Uh, in case anybody, uh, in case anybody was curious about, uh, we're in, we're in. yeah, where how Todd feels about okay, himself. We're in here. <laughs> oh, good. Here we go. But Let's yeah, trap. we're in. No, but yeah, it's, uh, I, I feel bad for Corey Feldman because he's like, he's like that guy. I do as well. It's like, here, and you know what? Like, it's not this stuff that was like too much too soon for him. It was once he hooked up with like when the, the Feldman and Haim movies came out and it was like, it was them being like the hot guys getting the girl and stuff like that. I'm like, that's too much for a freaking teenager car to do. or whatever it was called. What there was, was a so, dream car. Well, there was like, license uh, to drive. There was license like, to drive. and then there was like, I think they had a one called blown away. That wasn't the good blown away, but the bomb, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. stuff like that. Depends. Yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, so he did, yeah, Friday 13th, four and sort of five. Uh, he was in Gremlin, Stand By Me, Lost Boys, uh, The Burbs. He was the voice of Donatello in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one yes, and three. Yes, he was. So, yeah. One he, and three. Yeah, I don't think he was the voice in two. Oh. There we go. I, bad parents for letting him do this, <laughs> by the way. I'm, bad, I'm just saying. It's the 80s. I don't want to be racist, but he it's doesn't look 80s. like he's got a lot of upper body strength. I know it, it is the yeah, he no cares whatever. Uh, he's it's like a, very, a movie. Nobody's gonna nobody back in the day complained about like yeah. Oh, this guy's cr-, you know what I mean? No one yeah. cared. It's a fucking movie. And this day needs to be like, how is this Asian kid? You know, <laughs> fucking. Oh yeah, he broke his cock right off. Yeah, look, he's got his fucking um, yeah, his asthma inhaler. Yeah, those are <laughs> <laughs> that's my mom's favorite. My mom's piece. favorite that. part. I like that a lot. This is penis. <laughs> yeah. So this, like, this was right in the era though. That was really like a hot. It was. It was a lot of like real connections between like people in these movies. Because Spielberg had just directed uh, Kiwi Kwan here in um, Temple of Doom, Temple of Doom, which was his first movie, yep. and then he brings him on for this. Uh, Spielberg works with Columbus on this, and then works with Columbus on Gremlins. Uh, hires him for that, right? And then, uh, like, it was just a lot of that going on. But then even, like, going further, Richard Donner, a producer on X-Men, Kiwi Kwan is a fight choreographer on no X-Men. And it's the really? only thing he was ever a fight choreographer for. It's good. That was a good piece mm-hmm. of trivia right And there. then another piece of co- uh, trivia, uh, the mom here was the therapist in the Lethal Weapon movies. That's right. Yes, she so, was. Now, Who, what else is she in? Not a lot. I didn't really. I, I didn't really. Look. Something else. She's in. She's the mom in things. Like it's. She's. She's playing her role right now. She's doing great. She's, uh, <laughs> I never said she wasn't. She's fine. Was like, she's what? fine. No, I'm just. No, I she's just. Fine. I, no I, more potato chips. I, I, I was. That. I was really just trying to like dismiss her. Um, Where are they but, here? They're I'd in, love to try their chips. They're in his house in Astoria. Um, I know. Yeah, Jeff Co. Jeff Cohen. Oh, Astoria. Yes. Where's that? I don't know. It's a. It seems like New England or something. I think it's. Yeah, I think Astoria. Well, Astoria is in. There is an Astoria in New York, but I don't know. Astoria. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So, anyways, the um, the woman here playing the uh, maid, obviously, obviously speaks English. She's a U.S. born person, but she actually helped, uh, the writers come up with the dialogue for him to say, because obviously he's saying way different shit than the chief was told to say. Right. So uh, he was helping. I like that a lot. That's not a joke you could do anymore. Like they did that one. Like what was the one? Good your own face. I know. What was the one? Good boys or whatever is that movie that came out recently? I was like, I feel like that's the only movie. That's the only movie that would like try that joke. Bunch of young kids. Sexual (laughs) torture devices. 
Uh, See, like, this is so, these jokes here are mm-hmm. like, what the fuck? But these are because yeah. you're taking your kids to the movies. Yeah. I'm a kids huge... aren't going to get it. You yeah. fuck, man. Give me something, right? I know. My, what I love here, though, is the idea that they've hired a maid at a point where they're so poor that they're going to lose their house. Oh, yeah, that's right. She's, she clearly is brand new. You're right. Yeah. They, she's like, brand new. Like, he's talking to her. Yeah. Yeah, he's. They're like any day, like literally tonight, they're going to yeah. lose their fucking place. Yeah. And here's, oh, you're going to be proud of me. I actually have some uh, maritime law trivia based on the end of this movie. So oh we'll talk God. about that when we go later. Oh my God. This, I know. Exa- I think I know exactly what you, I love it. I love it. <laughs> so tease, tease on that one for later. Anybody who was going to tune out at 20 minutes is all, is all in now. <laughs> Uh, I like him turning the turn in the bucket. That's wonderful. Look at Josh Brolin. Look at yeah. Sean Astin. I know he I just, just watched him die in that Stranger Things. Because he's got, I think he's got a retainer in or something. Uh, Spoiler alert for does. Stranger Things. Uh, but no, he's got a retainer in. But it gives him, uh, it gives him um, Simpsons lip. Sims, you're right. He's it totally got Simpsons does. lip right now. You you know what they He's got that. He's gonna be like hitting the lip. His lips are cut all the time. Oh yeah. He's boom. Oh, I had boom. a re- I had oh, a retainer. Fuck. I used to catch in the inside of my lip, right by like where my uh, my incisors are. I used to catch it all the time, and it would have the I'd have these like little red bumps there because I was an, I was an asshole, I guess. And I just okay. So 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 mm-hmm. he um, Feldman yeah has said that if he comes out with the names oh yes that they will kill him, and he, I don't think yeah. he's ever come out with the names yeah. Do you think he's lying? I don't. If I'm being honest, I don't think he thinks he's lying. Right. Is That's where a I'm pretty at. safe answer. I know, but I don't know. Because I he just... never came out with the list. Like he was yeah. like, I'm going to come out with this list and blah, yeah. blah, blah. Because like, cause that's, that's always the thing. And I mean, it's, it, it, this kind of like almost leans into the believe women thing too. It's like, I'm not even going to say, well, why didn't he go to somebody then? It was like, wow. if he's saying like, as an adult now, it's your with career your ability, then, right? It's, You're it, but, young, it's your career. Yeah. And no, and that makes sense too. And all, and all that. And I'm not, I am not disputing any of that. Uh, it's, it's the whole thing now. He's like, yeah, they'll kill me. It's like, th- th- once you throw in a, this goes all the way to the top type yeah. thing, I'm like, okay, I'm kind of out. Like, I'm still having to, like, talk people off the Pizzagate ledge. <laughs> people are literally like, Pizzagate, it's real. I'm like, oh, the guy, the QAnon guy who said, like, the Jews are trying to take over. And stuff They're like not? That. No, not oh as much. Oh, my God. Not as much as we need them to. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but the. Exactly. Uh, no, but. Who does this? Yeah, I know, right? Like, what the fuck? I know. Like, you just wrecked. Like, oh, I'd be so no. pissed. Yeah. Could you imagine the the dad comes home? He's like, I forgot. We have that Renoir upstairs that's worth $250,000. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Ridiculous, expensive, random things. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying is, wouldn't it be cool? Like, because all these guys' houses and stuff were saved. So wouldn't it be cool if they came back to this? Like, it was like they had like a goondocks kind of reunion or something. They're like, let's go back there. Like, they probably got like nicer homes and whatever, because they were very rich at the end of this. If the, You know, spoiler alert. But the... Um, <laughs> Uh, How dare you? But they come back to the goondocks and they're like, hey, you remember that? And they come across a piece of something that's like, oh, my God, there's there's actually more to it. Or it's like, you know, there, there's there's an answer okay, to so the, like they, they go to meet somewhere and then, you know, their mystery happens. Yeah. Yeah. Or, yeah. And then it becomes the decision. Are we too old for this no shit? Way. Because I that's think, a Richard Donner I thing. think the sequel should be yeah. Sean Astin. OK, let's hear it. Yeah. Calls, messages. Somebody gets a message from Sean Astin being like, dude, I found the treasure. I found it. The sailboat went off. I found it. Mm. And that it's the mystery of going to him. Yeah. The rest of the crew or whatever going to find him. And then it's all this whole, you know, it's like, uh, you, you know, that fucking. Uh, yeah. Of the Nile there. Yeah. I found a crystal. Jewels of the Nile or yeah. whatever. I found a crystal skull. Whatever the fuck. Yeah. yeah. Because in it, that's how they all get drawn oh. in. Because oh. they, I don't think that they would. You know, I found uh, a nap uh, app on the back of the Declaration of Independence. 
Nicholas Cage plays I Mikey this round. I feel like it would be dumb if they got together all together and be like, hey, what's this? I feel so, ugh, you know, and then they found yeah. something. It should be something or, draws them back Okay, in. okay, well, what and if it's... Chunk and Sloth have been living together. <laughs> Sloth is a big celebrity. Yeah. They're working at the local car wash. He's like, ooh, Sloth's car wash. He's you dating what? Mouth. Yeah, fuck there you yeah. Go. No, okay, here, okay, so I'll I'll amend mine with with some of yours. This is this is how collaboration and works, anyway, people. Okay. And, and, and the Asian kid? Yeah. Tons of money. Oh, yeah. For his... It, he made a ton of shit. Mm -hmm. He's got tons of money. You know, so they can lean on him for yeah. a big boat. Like, go find yeah. this. Well, that's actually a great idea. So what? What I'm thinking that brings them all together then, instead of the fine. So yeah, you're right. He reaches out to everybody, but he reaches out because he's like, if I tell them what I found, people are gonna think I'm nuts. Right. So I'm gonna invite everybody for this reunion, and then I'll show them what right. I found. And then, it, ah. and then it becomes as, and it's like there we so go. So it starts with the reunion, and yes. then he's like, "Look what I found." Yeah, he's like, "I, I called, brought you here because I found. I love yeah. that. Oh, I fucking love it." All right, I'm writing it right now. Toonies I'm, I'm like, too, baby. That's a great idea. And it's called Toonies because it takes place in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> and all the treasures just Toonies, lost just Toonies, lost. With toonies. the middles poked out because they put them yeah. in the freezer. God, so many people would do. It. <laughs> that was my favorite thing. <laughs> There's, there's nothing. I think that's a great idea for a new movie. I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, but what kills me is uh, that Toonie thing, uh, the holes poked out of the middle. That's not a joke. When those things came to be, people were po were constantly trying to destroy them, which essentially makes them worthless. It was like you can't go with both pieces and go like, <laughs> like I've got the medallion. It's <laughs> you just have two pieces of garbage now, and the. <laughs> And and I was like, but that's something Canadians are always so friggin' obsessed with. It, it seems is like destroying our money. That's why our new money is like indestructible, like polymer. Of course, because it's like every all they want, all Canadians want to do is rip up their money. Well, no, you you can't. It's very hard to yeah. fake it. Yeah, that's why. Look yes. at the American money. I'm like, what do I mean? Look, like, I, I, I just made this in my basement. Yeah, like ten minutes ago. Yeah. Like if you you could like cut up a stained sheet into rectangles and <laughs> yeah like and boom then slip it down go right. to the American bank no fucking problem yeah. this guy's breaking a oh, lot of junk if you it didn't go for all these mm -hmm. you know shenanigans yeah. they wouldn't have found it you know what too I also have a theory is their dad dead no he's no he's alive um, why don't you tell him about all the shit that they have up there because he's probably it's probably I where love he keeps the music. His, he probably keeps his Playboys up here, and he has no... He's like, I don't want them coming across really them or something like that. It looks like the room of requirement from Harry Potter. Who did it's the music for this card. movie? Uh, I don't remember. It's not me. Amazing. It's it so is good. very good music. I wonder... You know what? I'm going to take a random guess and say this is my man. What's his name? <laughs> he's it's not your man, man, obviously. Yes, it is. Alan Silvestri. Ooh, that's a great idea. I mean... I'll bet I'm going to say right now. Okay, composer. Hi, I'm Googling way more shit than I wanted to. I love this. Why can't we do this, man? Why can't we be on an adventure like this? Uh, Joseph Williams and Dave Grusin. Oh, they did a great job. Yeah, I don't have... Uh, 1632. Scored the Goonies. Dave Grusin. So yeah, a guy I've never even heard of, but yeah, he did a wonderful job. He learned from Mel and Sylvester. Um, I also oh, think though, if you go a little assholes. bit into the past, I bet you they started calling Chunk Chunk early when he still just had some baby fat on his cheeks or something like that. And then they basically made him Chunk. He got fat because of them. Uh <laughs> <laughs> they're like you have to be chunk. Then that's, that's why they're your name. And now they like feel a ladder so, on the top of that yeah. roof over there. Well, that's because that's that's, uh, that's Data's house. And when he's they doing showed shit. the other side of these dudes, like there's a boat out there. Oh, they're yeah. somewhere right on the river. Yeah. Clearly. Well, yeah. Apparently, this was originally supposed to take place in Ohio when. Um, it, it doesn't, but it was <gasps> supposed to. That's but, right across from where I work. Nice. Ohio, if that's yeah. where it is. No, it's not Ohio. Oh, come it was, on. It was Fucking supposed Joe to. Joe Walsh's house. No, basically what happened was um, Chris Columbus, when he was kind of setting forth, they were like, he he was looking. <laughs> what? You know, it's funny. Chris <laughs> Columbus <laughs> setting forth I, before he found Ohio. <laughs> well, well done. Well done. I, you, you put that together faster than I did. Um, but the, no, what, what, I'm, what I'm getting off, uh, what, 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 what I'm. Fuck off! Fuck yeah. We we did too much of a we did a mini, uh, mini episode for no reason, <laughs> know, and right? now we're like you've you've had some drinks and you're way more together than I am. Uh, but <laughs> the, 
Uh, no, but when I, I like this, this is a good oh, big brother moment. I know because he picks on him and this and that, but yeah. he's a but good he, guy. But he loves him. Yes. I think it was necessary though, because I think it makes it a little bit harder to get through the story with otherwise. Um, but he, yeah. So Chris Columbus though, he was talking about, he lived in this old, uh, this old factory town in Ohio and him and his friends had nothing to do. So they'd go down into like the abandoned coal mines and shit like that. And then that's kind of the, the base of like what this story like goes around is like, Oh, they're going to go on an adventure to a weird place. And is like, and we're going to add some like basically some Indiana Jones shit along the way. Yeah, it is totally. Wouldn't that have been a one, that would have been a wonderful twist instead of Chester Copperpot. If it was Indiana Jones, cause it was in the forties. Right. So and he could have been looking for old he, indie stuff. He could have been That's looking a for cool idea. He could have been. And because this came right after that too. So this would have been like, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna email Steven Spielberg later and let him know I he blew that, it. Actually, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, because they make a lot of things. Actually, apparently, there's a Gremlins reference in this movie, and it's before Gremlins even came out. Oh, so, oh, uh, Cindy oh, Lauper. I love. I remember when this yeah. movie came out and the song was out. You know what's Captain hilarious? Captain yeah. What's hilarious is this song is it's called The Goonies Are Good Enough. And but they just keep the Marbles. Goonies, yeah. They just keep the Goonies part out of it, so people are like, "Why are they calling themselves the Goonies?" And uh, Cindy Lauper singing it out. They're still there. Are marbles a thing. I don't know. Do you remember? Oh, they're 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 getting their plan together. Oh fuck! Yeah. They're like, stop eating, Chuck. Get the fuck over. Yeah. He's like, I'm listening. He's like, I'm munching. I'm listening. Nice. Like, I'm in there. See, and again, he just had a really nice brother with it, a moment with his brother. Now he's gonna like. Well, fuck yeah. Well, no, Those would he the... just said we can't go yeah. do this. I know. Those would pinch. Chunk's not even that much. I know. He's not even like. Yeah. Those would <laughs> pinch his hairs and stuff. I would really be bothered. Pinch his hairs. Well, yeah, that's like that's why he's so people... fucking mad. Yeah. I oh. wouldn't have any hair to pinch. Could you imagine? He's like, ow, oh, ow, oh, it's pinching my hairs. <laughs> I love the I love the letting yeah. the tires go flat I love how, slowly. How he's he's letting the air out. Yeah, and he's like, don't do that. He spent three hundred whatever dollars on this bike. He didn't do anything by letting the air out of the tires. Yeah. You just pump the tires up. The bike is good as you. <laughs> Wouldn't have been the best. They ride away and the bike just blows yeah. up. <laughs> I like this. Look at this nice little town. Yeah. Then Chris Columbus comes in. He's like, we blew our whole budget on the, on the bike. <laughs> on the bike blow up. But you're right. Yeah. What a good point. They're about to lose their house and they've just hired a new lady. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. She's like, I don't even know what working out is, but you've just done it today, boy. Yeah. You're just all wrapped up there. I don't even, I'm not yeah. even going to hear what you're saying. I'm just going to walk past. <laughs> And I'm just look what well, you've and, done here. And also oh. said you're hyper. She's like you're hyperventilating. She was covering his yeah. mouth and yeah, nose. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's maybe if I just smother you while you just see. Oh, there's, there's the dad. dad. That's right. Yes. Oh, who He's like, hey, boys. He looks kind of like like a, if Stephen King was a librarian. <laughs> He is a fucking he's like, so, he better he's be a librarian. So, he's he's got so many books in there, he might as well be the yeah. goddamn librarian. Wouldn't it be amazing? He's like, Do you want to read a book about how people got murdered in like the nineteen forty the nineteen twenties? No. No, I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, there's a wonderful help see. He's just looking for the videos and the DVDs. Uh mm. This, this fucking bike. This bike. It was. Oh, don't you know he Oh, that's be Data's little sister. I like, never like, put oh, that oh, together. He's just stomping. Like a stomping, uh, stomping. Yeah. Yeah, but that I never put that together. That's Data's sister because it's the neighbor. I didn't even. Well, but maybe that's good for me because I didn't see race the first time. I didn't. See... <laughs> so, but you do now. Yeah. Is so that I, a thing? So I know it's it's the opposite of growing. I'll give you that. But I'm James Bond 007. I, yeah, he says that a lot. I like. I'd go for an Asian. I bond. love that sound. <laughs> it is really it's such a it's like a, such a teeny tiny thing, but it's a nice theme that like burns through the whole thing. This is like. This is a little bit of Stand By Me, a little bit of Lord of the Rings. Yes. We've got we got our Samwise. We yes. got uh, Mouth oh, and Data, yeah. your Merry and Pippin. Oh. Dun, 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 it's just dun, pretty. Dun. The whole. There it is. Yeah. Oh. I like his Hawaiian shirt. I wish I had that shirt. I know. I'm <clears> so. Got the training wheels on. Yeah, I know. Drosh, bro. Is yeah. acting training wheels on because oh here comes this yeah. fucking asshole oh. Troy. Stop oh. looking down her cunt with your mirror, you piece of shit. All right. <laughs> There's Brand. He's right. <laughs> Driving a bike like he always does. 
I didn't do nothing. Yeah. You're a fucking business. You got to rotate the bottom there because you just see it like the the arm has to be in line with the leg. And I'll rotate your bottom. Over. Well, I hope you do, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, he's what a member a of the dick. Astoria Country Club. <clears throat> Dude, just rotate so you don't have to fucking hold it up the whole time. There you go. And then you just bring it the whole thing. Can you speak now? No, rotate the whole thing towards you. There you go. There. All right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look, like, like, oh, this no! is this is attempted murder, by the yes, way. If we're is. just getting like this is the '80s. It's totally fine. Mm-hmm. Like this would like he would go to jail for hate crimes if he wasn't white. <laughs> Uh, what a dick. He just had a little E.T. moment there. <laughs> that would have been amazing. All of a sudden, like, he's got a backpack on, and E.T. pops into the backpack. He's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh, was E.T. also in the backpack? I'm thinking Gizmo. No, E.T. was in the... Uh, was at the basket, but he doesn't have a basket on that one. Which he should have, because it's a little girl's bike. Uh, Jeff Cohen, I feel bad with Jeff Cohen because he's like he did virtually nothing. He did a little bit of like TV before, a little bit of TV after, but his career was over by ninety one. All right. So I was like, eh, what was the problem? He had some shit, good shit. Yeah, he had some shit, and he's living a life. I'm sure. If I could have even a couple, man, that's yeah. all I want is to be in one sweet movie. I know. And everybody was like, man, that movie kicks like Stephen Baldwin. He was <laughs> in, in Biodome. Fucking yeah, exactly. <laughs> like fucking a the classic Biodome. Was that a Metallica tune? Diaz, these Diaz? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Probably. It's you good to take a map like this. Yeah. You know, don't 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 they send these kind of things out? You know, when you do those like uh, those those crate things, those fucking get merch crates. What the fuck's yeah. it called? They should have these. Oh, loot crates. They and should stuff. have some fucking. Oh, they had Goonies stuff in Goonies loot maps. I'm sure you can get that. Actually, what's funny is that map, apparently they let Sean Astin keep it at the end of it. And his mother, Patty Duke, saw a crumpled up piece of paper in the side of his room and just threw it out. What the fuck, she Patty was, Duke? She was just like, oh, like, it looks like this is garbage, garbage or something. It was just like rolled up, crumpled. Yeah, why don't you just go into your room and throw some shit out? Well, Mom, what the fuck? She did. She threw out uh, his original dad. That's why, <laughs> that's why John Astin's there. <laughs> That's her kind of thing. That's her yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, Where is That would be this? a beautiful cat. I'm telling you, it's New England. It's right in the water. It's the States. It's got to be like Seattle or something. No, because they're on the Atlantic. Not Seattle. It's, uh, they said it's Astoria. Yeah, I'm looking it up. Drug dealers don't wear polyester rags. Just to let you know right now. Yeah. See, the only, uh, yeah, there's Astoria, New York. That's it. Oh, Oregon. No, the, oh, yeah. Oh, this could be in the Pacific then. This, is, this could exactly. be Oregon. Exactly, yes. Oregon. Oh, okay. Oregon. Yeah. Oregonia. All right. So what are they going to do, right? Chunks still got to be Which makes chunk, sense because it's raining. You can't go, uh, you yeah. know, the problem with the new movie would be it's going to be really like, like, like politically correct. Yeah. Where Chunk can't be Chunk anymore and you can't make like, Fat. They don't even make fat jokes. No, you know what they would be good? Because like, he's skinny now. Like the, the I actual know, that's something really I've seen him. I, I saw them that, all. They did I, like a thing. I think they should just continue to call him Chunk. And they're exactly. like, and then him just go, are we not past that now? No, no, well, like, my, no. My buddy, he literally came to us with the name Pork. Yeah. He said, he's a call me Pork. Yeah. We're like, okay, that's your name. See, yeah. And then when we go to his house, it's because his parents gave him the name Pork. Yeah. So, like, you go there, they call it. It's because like, it like, he it murdered like, pigs. Yeah, it was like, yeah, I felt yeah. bad when he fucks pigs. Yeah. He fucks them to death. Yeah. Um, That's. Oh, fuck. Uh-huh. These guys owe him a milkshake. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was like, um, what's his face? I can't remember. I can't remember what it was now, but it was a, uh, it was a, some comedy and they were like, uh, guy comes up and he's like, it was a, it was a black guy. And he's like, call me Blackie or whatever. And he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah, he's he's got. S- I love the relationship between the two brothers. <laughs> apparently, know, it's so amazing. Apparently, they both got the audition based on because they did a they did a joint audition. I guess they were doing like chemistry tests or something right. like that. And it was just their banter that got them. Like it wasn't them performing any right, of this. They script. were just like talking. It was like just them back and forth thing, and they're like, "Okay, you're in." <laughs> and then you obviously get the fun part because Robert Dobby is a trained opera singer. So I don't a... know what it is, uh-huh. and I agree with you. 
Yeah, thank you. About their chemistry. Mm -hmm. Because the three of them have such awesome chemistry. Yeah. It's so wonderful. It I really love, I good. love seeing them. I love mm -hmm. these guys. I hate them, but I love yeah, them. I would like to see, and I would like, because according to, again, the thing that's on IMDb, which could be meaningless because it's just whatever, but Robert Davi is listed as being in it. And I'm just sitting there, I'm like, I picture Robert Davi and uh, Joe Pantoliano rudderless since mom died. Like, it could have been, you could have made that happen whenever, and they've just kind of, like, they're a little off the deep end, and they right. and they can, like, and they, and they bring it all back to this moment, and they're <laughs> like, we're going to go back and try to find the boat, or, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, this is, like, th again, this is kind of an it thing. You got four four kids, like, getting all getting all scared to death. <laughs> I love it, because uh, it's just, like, these young kids in this way mm -hmm. super adult, yeah. you know, situation. Yeah. I love it. I feel like I'd be, 80s, I'd be very easy, like... I'd have a very easy time getting out of these kind of situations because they always make themselves look so guilty. Like we weren't spying on you and catching you murder. I'd just be yeah. like, oh, I thought this restaurant was open. Yes. And it's like, oh, you're rebuilding it. Okay, okay cool. I'll we'll go. On. go. I'll be on my way. Yeah, we'll go. Sorry about that. I thought that I was like, oh, we'll, we'll, and then I'll just say, oh, we'll come back when you guys open or something like that. You know, it's like, oh, this kid's <laughs> stupid. He, this kid's look stupid. He really thinks, go. Oh my god. Look at that water. This is water. Oh, okay. So this <laughs> takes place in Flint. <laughs> Oh, it's Flint, Michigan. Yes. We, ju we just nailed it down. Is that what they just said? No, no. I'm just saying that it's because of the water. It has to be Flint. <laughs> or Walkerton. That being said, oh. <laughs> You always throw out the you you always throw out the local references that nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, the Walkerton people, they'll know. Yeah. You know what? I see who listens to our podcast, the Walkerton people, they don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> they're just not listening. No. Good too, job, buddy. Get the fuck they're out. They're too they're too busy filtering their water. I don't see the right. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Here yeah. we go. <clears throat> I hate a hanging light bulb. You, you I, know I, what's I, good about this movie cuz if you're really young, this is kind of creepy actually. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's creepy moments. There's no, it's but, awesome. But you know what it is? It's they don't not treat you like you're a fucking idiot. It's not even that. It's not even that it itself is creepy, but it's playing on the things that would creep you out. Right. It's like, oh, I have to go down in this going dark down here. Like, basement. look at this thing. It looks like a goddamn old mine shaft. This looks like it looks like For the fuck's sake. It looks like yeah. short rounds gonna come running out of there. And yeah. Indiana Jones is gonna be like, hey. Yeah. It looks very much like um, like the bo Freddy's boiler is gonna be there, right? Yep. Oh, I would, that would be, be the end of it for me. Like, that to me should be in a... Uh, Rudy it! That should be in, like, Nightmares or something like that. Like, <laughs> like one of the, uh, like, extreme haunted houses. What an asshole. Mm-hmm. You don't leave me any choice. What an asshole. Uh. <laughs> oh. I would have liked... so bad yeah. for Sloth. I would have liked one of them to have, like, a really good relationship with him. No, I don't. Well, they're all fucking assholes. And yeah. the sequel will see that Sloth is now a millionaire. He's a yeah. lawyer. He's got a ton of work done. Oh, yeah. He's doing great. He's being... He's, like, being played by Jason Segel now. <laughs> he's just, like... <laughs> Gross. <laughs> woe is me he says that hey. would be the best and he's like yeah he, he he does his own commercials for whatever his business is he's like hey you guys you know i'm here for i'm here at the fratelli brothers uh yeah <laughs> fratelli i can't remember auto. i didn't i was gonna say auto too good job um i was going to uh I, I I didn't write it down, but they were saying they were showing what everybody's real names were. Oh, there's the brother, and they showed what Sloth's real name was. And, and it I was saw something it in the preview, in yeah, the, in the not the preview in the in the credits there. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's something. Well, his real I know what his real name is, but I'm talking like Sloth's real name is like something for Tally, and I can't remember. It was a weird first name. <laughs> she definitely did not get enough work. I agree. She, like she was like I was in an episode of Who's the Boss, and then in an episode of like Taxi, and then like it was like that all the way through, right? I love the headband look, by the way. I wish that would come back. I know what it is. You just you just wear it. Yeah. yeah, anything's back. Yeah, but no, but he's a he's a blood, and he's gonna get he's murdered a by blood. a crypt. He's gonna get murdered oh, by an fuck. Astoria Here crypt. Here we go. Yeah, I don't fuck around with that. Whose dead body is that? It could be anybody. Who knows? One of their. Uh... See that looks great. Are they really? If they they're not really there, that looks great. No, they're there. Like the background they're, looks cool. Yeah. 
There's that because you can see it's all motion and stuff, and they weren't like blue screening. That looks it, awesome. It, well, it, the background could totally way. be fake. Like the mountain in the back could be, but if this is Oregon and stuff, which makes sense now because of the mountains, because there's no freaking mountains in freaking Astoria, New York. Why can't we? Like, this is all I've ever wanted in my life. Yeah. Was to go on an adventure like this. Oh, I thought you meant this podcast. Uh, <laughs> like, wow. Fuck that. All right. This podcast. Yeah. Will lead us to that. Yeah. Somebody's going to be like, I heard your podcast. You said something you shouldn't have. You yeah. know, one time we just accidentally said yeah. the perfect thing. Mm-hmm. And they're like, that's the code. That is the code. And then mm-hmm. they're going to meet us and be like, hey, like you'll be driving me home. They'll be like, yo, it's time. We're like, yeah. what? And then boom, <laughs> bullets are flying. Who knows what? Yeah. Um, well, th- they Adventure. did that on. Adventure. Th- yeah, they did that on, I think it was. Uh, no, they didn't. Because we're doing no, it. No, it was no. This is different stuff. It was on uh, <laughs> that was on Community where he's like, of I'd course like, it was. I know. Wait, well, <laughs> it's it, don't don't go down those roads, and I won't either. <laughs> um, but but the no, they were talking about. Uh, he was ordering like office supplies, and he's like, and I'll take the, uh, or he's heading the button, and he's like for. Uh, for like blue paper, press one. For marigold, press two. And he presses two, and then all of a sudden it goes rerouting. And you're like, E-er. and all of a sudden the guy goes up. He's like, "What's your clearance?" And he's like, "Um, top." And he's like, "Do you, do you want to go forward with this?" And he's like, "Um, no." And he's like, "Okay." Cancel, and you hear him go like cancel, cancel, and then like hangs up, and you hear like planes pass overhead, like really like like right. low, and he's like. Oh, and then no, and then he kind of goes. He's like, "Oh, oh, I've got some right here." <laughs> like, yeah, just, These girls just pulled a sideshow bob. Yeah. They stepped in a rake that, for some reason, at the end of the rake, the handle had a dead fish head. Yeah, that was probably and they freaked and it's ran. It's probably out. sideshow Bob's head. Like the last one was spiked and caught him. Has the girl, n- not the blonde girl? Yeah, she's been in lots of shit. Martha Plimpton's been a lot. Carrie, Green, the other one, Carrie Green, who plays Andy. Yes, uh, Andy. Uh, she, the only thing that was a real, a really of note that she was in, she was in Summer Rental, with John Candy. Mm. She's the da- she's the daughter. In that yes. One. So, uh, but yeah, Martha Plimpton, her big thing, she was in Parenthood, ER, The Good Wife, Raising Hope, uh, tons of shit. Raising though. Hope. She's a lot raising, of shit. Raising Hope was like to me, it was the superior. My name is Earl. I agree. I like. I, I, I totally agree. I, I know not everybody agrees with Wasn't me. Was she that, on like, My Name Is Earl as well? I don't know, but I or just am I thinking. But I just thought everybody was so good in that. Like, I agree. Like Cora Sleachman was a beast in that. What's show. Her, what's his name too? The the father, the guy, uh, the main guy. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. He's totally underrated. Oh man, yeah. I can't. I don't know his name, but I can see him. Here we go. Look, look, look. look. You want to see it? You yeah. want to see it, girl? Touch it. Huh? Just touch it. Yeah. You <laughs> see my dirty sloth? <laughs> hmm. See my dirty, wonky-eyed fucking snake. Yeah, they did that. I think it was an Impractical Jokers. They made the guy sit there, and he like uh, goes over. He's like, "Did you hear that?" And then uh, they're like, "No." He's like, and then he made them say, "Do you, can you smell it?" And he's like, "Can you smell it?" And they're like, "No." <laughs> and then they make him say the last one, "Will you touch it?" Well, and then t- he's like, "Will you touch <laughs> it?" And they're like, "Okay, I'm out of here." Yes, I will. That would I won't been, smell it, but I will touch it. Well, they, they always have that joke, too. They're like, what if they say, because uh, there's one where they made the guy go in, like, indecent proposal, a bunch of couples at a dance thing. Right. So he kept going up, and he's like, I'd like to pay for uh, your company and, like, well, that sort of thing. And he went to literally every couple and did it. And he's like, what if somebody says yes? He's like, then you then you end up the winner of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's always Chunk and his, yeah. his crazy fodder i know right like they don't know where they're going he's no you know what this is he's inspector gadgeting his way through exactly. this movie exactly so i really wish i wish they wouldn't have blown inspector gadget they so can bad. still do it There's i know no, they can still do it it's yeah. such a good movie like i would <laughs> i don't know god you know what my Im- immediate thought Chunk. about that was i was like those water bottles used to be glass that yeah. was my first one my that first water thought would be there. so good yeah 
nice glass, even mm-hmm. though it's like super old, yeah. way the fuck down there. They totally forgot mm-hmm. about it. So an, an interesting little side note. So um, during the auditions, um, Corey Haim actually um, auditioned to be Mouth, and they had not. He had not met Corey Feldman at this point. No they way. Met, they met during this process. No way. So the the two Corys began here, right here, and ended in a trailer. I still am so bummed out. <laughs> Um, Ended in a flaming trailer. Yeah, yeah. no, but oh I'm God. I'm still kind of bummed out because um, Corey Haim was at my work when he was clean. Like there was a period of time where he was like clean yes, and it yep. was all good. Yep. And he was at my work and I just missed him. No he way. was literally like smoking outside of where I parked the car. And like, cause he was doing interviews for, um, uh, our channel scream. They used to occasionally yes. interview the odd person. I love and, scream. Uh, scream was the best. I wish that, I wish a. we could get that back. I know what the fuck? Like, well, cause they turned it into a different channel. That was more like, it's because like most of their channels are women's channels. And we're like, we're going to gear this one more towards women. And they changed all the branding. It looked like twilight. And then they stopped airing oh, horror. Yeah. And then they started airing more, th- um, uh, they started airing more like thrillers and less horrors, and I'm like, right. uh, and it just looked women tinged thrillers. Yeah, I don't even know what that yeah. means. It's like sleeping with the enemy. A bunch. Yeah, exactly. It's always like he's a bad guy. Oh god. You still having a problem with that? No. <laughs> he's like he's holding his mic stand like a cane. I gotta, f- I'm gonna find a screw thing to fix your thing here. Because... Well, fix nothing. Would you fix your fucking self? Uh, that's I've been trying, but I, I, I find I find that so dark and difficult that I've been spending all my time on this technical shit. Um, <laughs> and the I'll, microphones. Oh, fine. Yeah, no, I'll give you guys uh, I'll give you guys a little backstory. So we have started the stream, and I've been working on all that technological shit. Season five, I got a, baby. I got a. Uh, I got a capture card that didn't work because my computer wouldn't accept the USB three. So I upgraded I upgraded to a new computer and then I had to like reset everything up on that. And I'm still in the middle of it. And it's he just can like, oh. smell frozen ice cream. He can smell pretty yeah. mist. He can smell whatever. Man. I have a great nose my, too. Oh no, but what, he, what, what, uh, what ice cream company is Apple, this? Uh, yeah, Apple grape ice cream. Like well, who? Great. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck. who's another bad? Oh fuck! I think he turns perfectly. Oh. There's one shot. If I can frame <laughs> by frame it, he looked like Jeff Goldblum <laughs> yes, for just like there was like a frame or two where he was Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> oh, that is the worst thing. <laughs> That's like, like I I would be just as I would be just as fine if in the sequel they oh, said fuck. Chunk killed himself over that moment. <laughs> It's like he's that happened. Over he's over. like he no, never. That's when we see Chunk, he's like in therapy. He's like, and then I was, I was eating ice cream. Every time I eat ice cream now, I just picture this dead guy. It's like I'm eating a dead guy. They're the be- like, why did you stop eating ice cream? We're like, what are you fucked? No, the beginning, <laughs> the beginning is him biting down on the end of a shotgun, and then the phone <laughs> yeah. rings and he picks it up, and it's Sean Astin. It's- <laughs> and he's like, oh, you want me to come yeah. out? Yeah. Oh, great. And you know what would be the best? They're like, you can't come until you do the truffle shuffle. And he opens up and he's just got, he's like got nice abs and he starts just like wiggling around and they're like, oh damn. And it's like their wives. They're going to kill each other over the pepperoni. I'm I'm writing a great scene right now. I'm writing a great scene. So like, you got to do the truffle shuffle and he lifts up and he's got a, like a really like nice body and he picks up and it's like Sean Afton's wife is there and like, hmm. (laughs) And then she's like, he can come in. Oh my God. I'm writing this movie tonight. (laughs) I'm going to do a punch of cocaine and I'm going to have it done for me. Right. I'm going to have it done before 6 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> that's how, uh, that's how, uh, what's his name writes his movies? Yeah. The I dude have... that did, uh, he writes movies like that. Two days. I have two what's laptop. His name? I don't know. He does um, all the John Candy movies. Home Alone. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guy writes a movie in like a day. John Hughes. Yeah, John, um, the guy writes a movie in half a half he a does. fucking day. No, but I got two laptops side by side right now. I'll write two scenes at a time while I scream. I'm just like, ah. <laughs> two scenes. I wonder which scene will be better. The left, the right. Definitely the right. I'm maybe, well, well, maybe one time you'd be like, wow, the left was amazing. Like, wow, look <laughs> at this one. And then with my right hand, I just typed, ah, <laughs> for like several <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Oh, he's getting like that. Oh, old, he has like a tongue in him. I feel like they cast like a pedophile, and they're like, just be all over him for reals. He's like, fine, no problem. Yeah. The, the only acceptable thing to either that well, guy played acceptable. a great dead body. Who's the dead yeah. body? That guy played a great dead body. That was Sean S. Cunningham from the Friday the Thirteenth. Now, <laughs> look at him. Yeah, yeah, he's. 
The only oh, thing is his junk. eyes, he, like his eyes do move. His <laughs> eyes follow him, which is weird. It's, it's like, like he's on a gamble. Best part of this whole movie. It's really weird oh, too because fuck. it's like I I forgot up until I was doing the research again because it had been a while uh, since I had watched uh, the entire thing, and I was like, oh yeah, he's not with them for a big no, portion the whole, of the no, movie. The whole movie, the entire yeah, movie, like, pretty much. Yeah, like he meets like, up with them to like the whole short, end. Yeah, yeah, he's not in it. Well, he's in it, but he's yeah. not. He's <laughs> Wouldn't that be? Here's another part of his suicide note. They, <laughs> no, they they bring home all the treasure, and they're like, "You weren't with us, man. I don't know what to tell you. We didn't bring anything for you." <laughs> so his family still gets evicted and all that, and like his life just goes down the tubes. What? So they're oh, all they're just all like they're... crackheads who thankfully yeah. find something. Yeah. You know what it could be? It yeah. could be um, what's his name? Like Michael left in like a map. Under Neverland. Oh, they got to okay. go to Neverland and go underneath, and it's just catacombs. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like uh, um, that vampire movie with uh, George Clooney. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Tarantino. Yeah, Dust Till Dawn. There From Dust Till Dawn. I, I kept wanting to say uh, Bordello of Blood. I was like, it's not Bordello Same of Blood. Thing. I know it's not Bordello of Blood. Yeah, because yeah. you hear cha-cha, hey, vampires oh. biting on your balls there, cha-cha. It's like hey. Caligula's having an all-you-can-eat buffet, cha-cha. <laughs> right? I always... <laughs> no, this is the limitation of my Dennis Miller. Not only does it not sound good, but I always reference Caligula. I never go to anything hey, else. Out. It's like... It's what he always talks about. Yeah. Like it. It's like... It's like watching Hannibal cross the Alps on a skidoo, cha cha. Like, well, it's always like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, like you, you know, the thing is, you can get it, but yeah. it's like, how many people, especially while you're watching Monday Night Football, how many people are gonna get these crazy like? Yeah, they're already. You should still be there. They're already drunk and disinterested that you're there. <laughs> yeah, like. It's like when Screech comes out to do stand-up comedy. He like comes out and he's and they're like this. Your first thought is like you don't even say it. You just think boo, cocky. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, ideally. Oh yeah. Oh here you go. Boom. Yeah. The Asian guy's got it covered. Yeah. Like he's half robot. Look at that panel on yeah. his chest. The one thing I will remove, oh, the, wouldn't that be amazing if that <laughs> was the twist? He's a fucking is, robot. No, the dad. Well, even the dad at the end of this says, "You were my best invention." Yeah. And when that's uh, what we find out in the sequel. He's a fucking android. So they CG him, and he's this age still, in, still. The, in the movie. In you the don't next need to movie. CG him. Just get his son. Yeah. Well, he actually still looks quite young. Yeah, whatever. Uh, exactly. Just, just, just de age him. No, well, no, what you do is you just do the. Oh, uh, my God. See, yeah. Okay, so wait. One car just passed. Yeah. He just got this one. What yeah. if he got the car that, you know, the other one? If that was Joey, Joe Pantoliano. <laughs> they, were, they were splitting up. <laughs> yeah. This is a good, this is a great little effect, but why he says all these things? Yeah, like you would tell a complete stranger all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I, I, I love that he just randomly was singing there. I don't like though that it, the cut obviously showed that he wasn't singing when it went back to the mirror. But I mean, we'll let that. We'll let that slide, I guess. No, it's both of them. Look. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's a, there's a child, we're laughing at a child being kidnapped. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, no, but you know what? He, re- he, he legit had it coming because he just he, he just told them how badly <laughs> he was. Like, and he even to go see, he's like, they're disgusting. These yeah. people are disgusting. Yeah, like, this and this and that. And he's yeah. like, oh my God, it's you. Well, what yeah, do like, you know, what, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, like really, what choice did they have? Because he's like, I'm totally going to rat them yeah. out and make sure they go like, to jail. I saw this, I saw that. I saw yeah. that. He even made some stuff up yeah. that they didn't do. I know. So Robert Dow. We'll just talk about him quickly. He was, Robert Davi? Yeah, Robert Davi. He was in Raw Deal, Die Hard, License to Kill, uh, Showgirls, Profiler, and Expendables 3. He got, him, he got himself a spot on that. Never profiled. <laughs> profile, yeah. Suck. Oh. oh, my God, this is amazing. Yeah. This is what's happening under our city right now. Yeah. So you can just go under, jiggle the wires. Yeah. I love you know, this. All these fucking like this. This is like Bugs Bunny level. That how much? Because <laughs> like, he's so dumb. Because he's literally just well, and also like now he's not even doing it. So it's like now that he's started the motion, it won't <laughs> stop. Yeah. <clears throat> but what's also funny is the idea that to put that fountain there, they literally just stuck a giant pipe under and just kept like pushing it down yeah. until they're like, that's deep enough. Oh, this guy's got an eye patch. Oh, sweet. This one. This one-eyed Willie. Look, wait. Well, I was like, no, yeah, that's not one. 
See, that's not how. Yeah, this is not how plumbing. Whoa! Works. Whoa! They're like it's gonna be a match. <laughs> then he looks. Got soap in a row. Oh, they could have just had a porkies. He goes through and it's the girls' shower on the other side. <laughs> he's like, so but they're all her titty through. No, but I was gonna say because they're all, clip. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> God, no. I was gonna say because it's they're all older people. It's like big saggy boobs. And he's Fucking like, right. He's like, yeah, those look they're like fifty-five-year-old yeah. boobies. Of course, guns he's and guns ammo. and ammo. He's that freaking kid who just like murdered people in Wisconsin. He doesn't even. Oh, he's not did you even, notice? He's wearing his underwear while he poops. Did you notice to the um, uh, you could see the uh, thing that he was on the platform. You, I was looking at the fact I didn't totally missed that. Yeah. I was looking at the fact that he was still wearing his underwear while uh, sitting on the toilet. I'm gonna go back, but you could totally see the pole and the platform that he was sitting on that pushed him up to the roof and he fell down. I was like, that was not well hidden at all. Oh. They found a fucking big old hole. Yeah. This That's all I was. See, this is still yeah. little. Oh, my God. Here we go. This will oh. always work. This is a fucking horrifying. <laughs> this is when blenders could really blend. Like, you could throw a brick in there, and it would have, like, come out like juice. <laughs> do you think that they, I don't believe that they were actually going to do anything. I think. Do you think they would have really fucking put his hand in the, but I, they murdered people. No, I'm going to be, yeah, no, I'm going to be real. Like they're after them. I'm going to be real. I think that the guys wouldn't, she would, she would, and they would do it because she told them to, right. because that's mom. I agree with you. So, I agree 1,000% with yeah. that. They it's don't pretty, want to do it, it's all mom. Yeah. Yep. It's like, they, I mean, they got a taste for the criminal lifestyle, don't get me wrong. But, like, he's like, he's like, come on, Ma, it's a kid. He's like, no, I cut him in half. You don't have an uncle. <laughs> you don't have an uncle. I mean, my Hebrew school play. <laughs> this is good. And they blamed it on the dog. Apparently somebody asked him what he was thinking of to cry there, and he was thinking of his mom being dead. And his mom's not dead, so he just started crying. <laughs> so he just started crying. Yeah. That's how you go. He's not even crying for real. I know. Like, but... what do you like? <laughs> yeah, what he's was like, your, like, what he's like, the scene? Like, now they're like, break down, chunk like, to me. Break chunk Wouldn't down. that be amazing? I want to redo Inside the Actor's Studio, but have nothing but, like, bit part people and stuff like that. Why may not? I speak, may I speak with chunk now? <laughs> channel chunk. Yeah. Chunk channel. Chunk channel. All in character. Oh my god, like she's losing it. Yeah. She's like, what's her name after they went over the cliff in Indiana Jones? She's like, ah yeah. look at your she had she's a right. like, yeah. She went over a cliff. Oh. Oh, oh fuck. I didn't read our messages from YouTube from our last I'm gonna read that. We'll do that at the end of this and I'll put it on the mini episode. <laughs> Uh, so, it was just like this kid said it's terrible. So like it's more bad. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that lady that yeah. sent the message. Yeah, that should be a T-shirt. That entire message, <laughs> it should say miscast commentary, mm -hmm. keeping people happy since whenever. And yeah. on the back, it should be the entire message. Is that legal? I don't see why not. That it should be her whole text big so you can read. It's just like, oh my god, like I can make miscast that. commentary keeping women happy. I can you make this like, happen. I can make that happen. <laughs> it's like, I don't know who on earth would buy that shirt, but I I can make just the shirt. Read it. it doesn't cost us anything to <laughs> just design. Just read it. it. It's the greatest uh, shirt. I would get like I would get Karen <laughs> Allen to sign one. Yes. Yes, that'd be amazing. I will reach out to her and Karen go. Karen Allen signed mm -hmm. Miss Cass commentary T-shirt. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Mouth, get his wallet. Rob this guy. Rob this motherfucker. This is Chester. Co <laughs> That's probably you, worth more than the ship. When I, like, when you watch the movie afterwards. Yeah. You know now it seems so much more. You know, like uh -huh. like the Indiana Jones movies when all he really does is go into a place and then run from the ball. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like, right now they're just, they, they go through a hallway, uh -huh. they end up at wherever, then they, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, not that. Especially like yeah. in Kingdom of the Crystal Skull where he goes into a place and it's just like, yeah. you know. It's, well, it's it's nice too because it's literally, you could switch up a lot of scenes by using the same rocks. Just put this one over here. Exactly. This one over here. But can I tell you a little thing? Do you know where this was shot? Yeah, wait. Universal Studios Hollywood. No. This was shot on the lot. Why? Well, actually, I don't think it's Universal lot. This was shot on the exact same stage where Conan does his show. A lot. Yeah. 
I fucking said on boo. Well, on a lot, yes. A lot. Yes. Well, it, blah, blah. Blah, blah. No, but this is where, <laughs> Co- this is <laughs> like where Conan does his show is where the sets are. Oh my were. God, they could be running through at any minute. Yeah. They're grabbing skulls. Mm-hmm. So NBC. No, no, this no, is TBS. He's yeah, TBS now. This is when he was. T- this is for his TBS show, but it's like the. It's the. I don't know what studio he's on. I want to say he's in the Warner Brothers. No, no, no way. Oh, he's Turner. No, but it's. But he, Turner doesn't have a film studio. Right. No. No. You're right. 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 Okay. So is WB? No, because he was NBC. Then he moved. Now he's Turner. No. Yeah, but he's there's no such thing as the Turner law. I, I, I so, know yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm saying. So. Ah, that's remember. a good question. So what lot is Turner on? Warner Brothers lot. Warner Brothers. That yeah, was it? stage 15 in the Warner, Warner Brothers. Brothers. Which makes sense because this is a Warner Brothers There you movie. go, yep. So. Oh, here goes the rocks. I, that was. Oh, fuck. See, that was me being really stupid because that was the answer to that question the whole time. This is a Warner Brothers movie and they shot it there. <laughs> that was. <laughs> that, that, that was. So a, Turner's Warner Brothers. No, Turner's not got nothing to do with Warner Brothers. They're just that's where he shoots. Whatever. So Turner yeah. is that because it's yeah. a Turner show now, yeah. isn't it? It was yeah, but that has nothing. The two things have nothing to do with each other. So you don't think so? You, you don't, don't think have that to. Last Rock was fucking looking yeah. like Jane Fonda. No, but I'm but... saying, but I'm saying like what, a TV show doesn't have to own the property that they no, shoot. No, no, no. Of course, yeah, yeah. of course. I just mean that like like you yeah. know, Damn. Turner is filming. Yeah. Somewhere, and no. he's filming Conan on the Warner Brothers. But lot. yeah, but he's filming. They're filming people everywhere. They're filming. People I, I know, I know, I know. But I'm not saying film. Turner yeah. is Warner Brothers. I'm yeah, yeah. saying that. Yeah, yeah. It's but yeah, it's not because they have a connection. Okay, it's just so, because so they're renting space there. Is it's like we? He's like, I want to shoot. Wait, wait, wait. So, but but yeah. TNT is yeah. Those are yeah, literally it's LA. just that's just crumpled paper being shot out of an air. Cannon. Is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, it's, I thought that was pretty cool, except maybe that close-up shot. But like, just when it shows, like, a, yeah, like that one. See that one? They've got bats. But when it was just flying out. So wait, wait a second. I'm still yeah. in this Turner Warner yeah. Brothers thing. Yeah, there is no Turner Warner Brothers thing, so it's like weird. It has to be. No, it doesn't at all. They're renting space. Well, I know that. that. That would be. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. like it's still. So so wait wait so. TNT, the network. Yeah. Turner. Yeah. That comes out of LA. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like it's, but like all, of, well, realistically, all of Turner's offices are in Atlanta. Atlanta. So they don't have, is that they where, don't have property for studios or anything like is, that anywhere. Yeah, so they, they rent, just rent. They so just they rent. rent wherever they can right, get right. it. So they rent from Warner Brothers, they rent from yeah. wherever. So he could, he could have a rent one on Warner Brothers, another one on Universal, where's, another one at MGM. Like, where, yeah, no, no, I got yeah, yeah. Where, where's, I'm trying to think now where uh, AEW Wrestling is then. I don't know. Are they filming in that old place in Florida where, like, remember WCW used to record at, like, Universal Studios? Right. Or not, no, it was, like, MGM no, Studios. No, or I, I don't know, I don't know. We just missed, like, the best part. Where it's, like, it fucking threw up. I and pretend it was, like, Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just to watch your veins? Yeah. The, and they it, can't I, hear you. Yeah, I was going to say, they, according they, to the next scene, they cannot hear him. Yeah, like yeah, there's not even a the fuck out there. Like there's not even somebody going. Shh, do you hear that? Like there's none of that. <laughs> yeah. I thought I heard chunk farting. Mm-hmm. Eh, whatever. Hello, it sounded like a pig fainting. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here you go. Oh yeah, I saw a chunk of this scene the other day too. A we chunk. Watching. Oh, I get it. Uh, <laughs> he's like, I I threw this coin in. Yeah. And when I threw this coin in, it was like, I wish I met bubbles. And then not only did I meet balls, but I met Michael. Yeah. And then I had to go to the ranch. Yeah. And then I had to sleep in Michael's bed. Met, this one's mine. I'm at a, yeah. I'm putting this coin in my bum and I'm forgetting about it forever. Yeah. And no, I'm, then I'm dropping it back in and wishing for Prince. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hence his shirt. Yes. Oh my God. Do you think that that was a thing? Do you think that's a statement? I didn't even think about that. I think I guarantee you it uh. is. He's like, yeah. If I can guarantee anything, it's that. Yeah. That that is Corey, a statement. Corey, email us. Yeah. There's no way. There's no way he doesn't have a, uh, I'm going to put his name on our, in our show notes a bunch. So it'll show up on his, like when he Google, like he like Google uh, alerts himself. I want to have and, a real fucking, a real fucking conversation with him. He yeah. said it was Martin Sheen. He's like, it looks yeah. like Martin Sheen. Yeah. 
I would love for fucking Corey Feldman yeah. to call us. We can talk beforehand. You want it serious? Yeah. You want it light? I'd yeah. like it serious. I want to fucking really, I want to do this. I want I don't to think, tell me the uh, names. Let's do it. You 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 think we're 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 the medium? Yeah, he would fucking right. That would be fucking, amazing. Maybe that's maybe that's it. Yeah, come from underneath. <sighs> Could you Let imagine? Let it seep through. Let it seep through, man. Mm-hmm. That'll get us on Joe Rogan. Fucking right, it will. So that, that's Fuck our that part. No, know, Joe Rogan's him. gonna come to us. Yeah. Now we're fucking marketing. And no I'm way. gonna say no because I think he's a dick. But he is a dick. <laughs> he's good though. He's very good he's at what he does. Good, but I agree with you. He's yeah. a fucking dick. Yeah. Anybody it's, that watches UFC like yeah. is like, come on. No, I know. I, I don't mean it in that sense. Yeah, no, I but don't. anybody who like runs their life of, yeah. it's no. like, come on. My thing was when I heard him for the first time. They're not uh, all yours, but no. When I when I heard him for the first time, he was laughing with it. He was like Joey Coco Diaz talking about it, like, yeah, this this bitch wanted to like do comedy, and I made her blow me before she got on, or I wouldn't let her on stage. And he's like, oh my god, that's hilarious. I'm like, that's not hilarious. That's sort of rape. Yeah, that's. And yeah, I was like, and you're all laughing. That's about what it. Uh, yeah. everybody gets in trouble for. Yeah. 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 And they're just laughing about we're we have That's fun. funny. It's true because I hear people even like I love Joe Rogan. I'm like, Joe Rogan's a fucking dick. Like, fuck yeah. that guy. I have no uh, and also I, I already have a hard enough time listening to us for two hours. <laughs> I don't want to listen to him for three hours like talk about well, conspiracy he, theories he, and it's shit. It's not even conspiracy theories. Well, there's he some. thinks he's so smart. Yeah. Like he's so smug. Yeah. <laughs> 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 look at look at you. He what? could have escaped 30 <laughs> times. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he, <laughs> <he's just> <laughs> it would have been the best. He could have escaped 30 times, but it's, he just keeps going back for the ice cream. <laughs> but this is the best ice cream I ever ate. You know oh. why? I'm going to say something. Yeah, I want to hear it. Well, this is the whole this idea the of the show is that you're going to say something. People love Joe Rogan. Okay. It's because they're fucking assholes. Mm-hmm. The people that listen to Joe Rogan, I'm not saying they're fucking assholes, yeah. because but they're they're borderline misogynists. They're yeah. like they're they're like this is the guy. He's gonna tell me. Ooh, he talks about doing these drugs and opening his third money. Yeah. He's so smart and he yeah. knows all these things about yeah. all this stuff. And it's like fuck you, yeah. you sanctimonious piece of shit. All right. Fuck you, Joe Rogan. Fuck now you up. got me going. There it goes. Now you got me going. Fucking Joe Rogan, you fucking misogynist, <laughs> cocksucker. In the worst way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You want to suck a, co- suck a cock. I suck yeah. cocks all the time. You just don't do it well. Exactly. Yeah. I don't mean that, you know, something, you know, you know when you say, <clears throat> like I say, well, you know, uh, or if somebody was like, you're gay, or, or yeah. you're a cock. Cocksucker. Well, I think you, you get offended. Why would you be offended? Either I, you do suck cocks or you don't. So you uh-huh. suck cocks, you're like, okay, you're right, suck cocks. Or if you don't, then you're like, why would this offend me? Because yeah. I don't. Yeah, liar. Yeah, wait. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I know it's all. It's Call all me bad. Joe Rogan. <laughs> don't put this on Joe. Yeah. This is on Tebow, okay? Yeah. The monster slayer, the misogynist, the fucking. What's you, the you're the mis- I don't know, but you just said slayer. You- oh, okay. The misogynist slayer. There you go. <laughs> okay, the racism slayer. Yeah. Fuck this bullshit. What's the word I'm thinking of? Fascist. He's a fucking fascist. There you go. He's a fat. That's it. Okay, let's get off. All right, sure. I agree. Sorry, it's- sorry. Mom. There he is. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, we. Oh man, there so he is. This is John Matusik. He was a former Oakland Raider. Um, he's wearing. He had five hours of makeup, and obviously his one eye is mechanical. So the, when they would blink and stuff like that for him, the uh, special effects person would have to count him into his blinks so that his eye would blink at the same time as that eye. Right. So they'd be oh. like, "Yeah, it was like it was a That's whole very, ordeal." Uh, very worked out like yeah. it's very like i'm gonna i'm gonna say this 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 then i'm gonna blink and then the other i'll blink yeah i, like I would have just let that one just stay open like you could have yeah, like Jesus made it Christ. no but you could have made it so it like kind of was just like you could see it was like Swindy. forcing it was like like they err, went err. the extra mile yeah so it's like hey this one's working normal this one doesn't work at all it's like and you can make it all red and gross <laughs> i wish you could have seen <laughs> i wish i could see <laughs> we got a lot of pictures of weird shit going on in here today but not that <laughs> Um, oh, here we go. Take those. Would you take yeah. the coins? Yeah. Wouldn't if it you be were a... there and you were down there, would you take those coins? No. 
They're all rusted pennies and fucking shit. Fucking take them. It's holy I, shit! I take them all and come back for more. Yeah, w- wouldn't it be hilarious if they're like shit? The boat got away. We didn't get any money. We got all that fountain change, and then he counted all up. They're like, it's just enough. And like, <laughs> we missed the boat. We still yeah. got it. It's, it's, it's $375,000. That saves all of us. <laughs> I you know, take all that coin. Those coins. Okay, so do you feel like, okay, so if I wish on a yeah, coin, yeah. and I throw it into there, if someone stole that coin, yeah. is it not going to come through? It, I think here's what happens. It won't come true if it hasn't yet. If it already has, it's going to turn on you in a horrible way. Oh my God. You're like, I wish that. Like, like, wish master. No, like I wish that my true love came back to me Today. and she comes. No, no, she comes. Yeah, she comes back and you've been married the whole time. And then literally, yeah, she just has an aneurysm right in front of you. Or she's been dead the mm. whole time. And then her last words are, I cheated on you. <laughs> like something. I cheated. And it might not even be true. <laughs> she just Satan. said it. <laughs> they just say just to fuck with you the baby's not yours <laughs> hey that's the one yeah. i cheated you not so bad the baby's not yours way better yeah yeah i also like he's got this weird idea <laughs> they of, feel like, like they're gonna pull her up in this basket the, well they're like and even right now before he sees oh. the sweater she's like yeah pull her up no problem mm-hmm. this little <laughs> pulley thing is gonna pull this 100 and yeah whatever well i also a pound woman I, I, well, no, I, I, I like the idea that he's like, man, the pulleys are a really effective machine because it feels like I'm pulling no weight up <laughs> yeah, right exactly. now. Nothing at all. Uh, that was like, he's a legitimately scary looking he's dude. He's terrifying. It's like. <laughs> ah, I love him. The wiggly eye. Do we candy bar? This is the greatest. I'm glad he's got one. Oh, it's a baby a Ruth. baby Ruth. They're great. We don't They're even have good. them here. No, but you know what we have that kind of gets us away from that? We have the O. Henry, oh, Henry. 421, or it's like 425 it's called. Oh, it's like it's like a baby. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a post-weed chocolate bar. But <laughs> it's, his face, he's just like. I know. <laughs> but yeah it's it's a it, but it's basically it's a baby fine. ruth it's all peanuts on the outside it's basically it's the o henry without the chocolate yes and <laughs> it's um <laughs> and yeah it's called it's called the 425 and i'm like oh god this is so killer wow. he's freaking he's like he's so mad at me because they lost the chocolate I know. he doesn't get to give a fuck he just wants the <laughs> chocolate bar <laughs> so oh god i picture him ki- accidentally killing chunk like like a uh like an of mice and men thing where lenny like oh, i tried to hug him i hugged him to death ripped his head right off yeah freaking kids Ugh. That's a kid skeleton right there. Oh, wouldn't that have been amazing? Like freaking kid skeleton. They yeah. think that the rock just landed on the kid. And this is how long. This is, It takes 12, 12 minutes before the kid to be a skeleton. I'm rewriting the ending right now. fucking kids. I'm rewriting the ending right now. They find, uh, it shows like the police go aboard the boat. And it's like the, the, guy, the Coast Guard brings them out. They board the boat and then they see One-Eyed Willie. They're like, wow, it was all true. <laughs> One-Eyed Willie pulls off like a skull mask and it's her again. She's like, and I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for those meddling kids. Those meddling kids. It was just, the whole thing was a weird yeah. setup by her. <laughs> that was how she was going to oh, give her. It was how she was. His ribs are right in half. Yeah, what a maniac. It was how, oh God. He feeds him. This is actually <laughs> more gross than like a rape scene. <laughs> But then her rape. No, it's, not, it's totally consensual. It's not rape. No, no it's, it's it's like consensual rape. He loves it. A monster sticking a scare no, sticking a chocolate two, bar into the mouth of a people. scared boy. It's two people realizing that they're they're meant to be. No, they're this not realizing. Is this, this is rape. Yeah. This is rape right here. That's rape. See, he literally That's just rape. kissed him on the oh, mouth. Yeah. I'm telling. <laughs> See. Oh. What? You smell like fizz head. You smell like fizz head. I always thought he said you smell like fish heads or fish something. That makes total sense. I always thought he said fish something. It's fizz head. Well, well, that would make sense because they were feeding him fish heads, weren't they? Yeah. Well, he was eating. Well, you'd think that he would smell like fish heads. Well, well, now I'm now I'm wondering if the captioner got it right. Now that now this is our conspiracy. (laughs) This is our Joe Rogan conspiracy. (laughs) Was it really fish heads? He's just trying to like put his ear on her boob. I didn't care for that. Oh, of course. Come on. I didn't care for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you were, oh, this is totally Indiana Jones. That's what I'm saying. That's totally. Like, like, I feel like they took things that didn't work in Temple of Doom. They were like, yeah, this doesn't make sense. Like, this is so low rent consi- like compared to the other big trap we got. <laughs> but like, I oh, will just move this to Goonies. Right. 
This is like freaking. This they is do a survival all the time. This is a survivor game right now. They're like, you know, match up. Oh. Yeah. Now do what? You. Yeah. Now what? Nothing happens. All right. Oh, here we are. Oh shit! That's pretty cool. I would like to have that in my oh, house. God. Oh, here comes the, uh, yeah, this, exactly, the Indiana Jones. The, this is the mini boulder. Indy's a lot smaller than them. <gasps> Wouldn't you, you look and it zooms in, it's way a little smaller. tiny dude. <laughs> <He's laughs> <He's> way smaller. <laughs> you, yeah, you don't realize the entirety of Raiders <laughs> of the Lost Ark is amongst a tiny, it's yeah. George Lucas's The Wills, who are like, te- they're like exactly. microscopic. Oh, I just, we just put together every world <laughs> all at once. Oh my God. Uh, data, is it data or data? It's data. It's data. It's, oh my god! It's uh, thank God. Yeah, it's it's Eugene. It's that zany sound. Yeah, boing. That zany boing. boing. <laughs> that zany boing. There's sound. nothing takes me out. No, it's not like I oh, needed to be God's like God's name. Yeah, I know, right? I would only believe that maybe if they're like vampires, like dig in. I just thought you know, I mean, they're just like flat teeth. I just thought of a great moment. You don't know who's playing the Batman in the new in the new one, <laughs> and then all of a sudden he falls off a building, and then he like his grappling hook goes, and then it zooms and it like pans up, and you see it tilts up, teeth. and you see its teeth, and then he looks. In and you see it's it's Kiwi Kwan and he gives you a little wink. <laughs> I'm sure the world would love that he's, so much. He's, <laughs> you, the whole thing the, the Batman is a sequel to <laughs> is a sequel to Goonies. He becomes Batman. Of course, because he's called so many times that they just will not yeah. believe okay. him at now all. Now let's keep keep an eye here. I don't see look at like creatures that multiply when water is thrown on them. them. This came out before Gremlins. I guarantee you, Spielberg was like, "Throw that in there." Yeah. Well, because Chris, well, Chris Columbus wrote both, so he was probably like he was probably writing both or had <laughs> like whatever. <laughs> I would love to see. I just want to see the new one. You know what? The new one yeah. should just be like uh, like a Friends. Mm. Where we just see Sloth and yeah. him, they're living together. It's like, you know, I want you it know? to be a Woody Allen documentary. <laughs> yeah, like, like, it's like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, what's our sex life like? He's like, hey, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> he opens up a he's woman's like, vagina and yells at it. Hey, and it still echoes. Wait, it echoes more. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God! Oh. It's just don't go in there, sloth. It's your echo. That's the men's room. Go watch them pee. Get a disease. Oh, they picked. They picked. Yeah. Is there a sign? That would be amazing if there was. Uh, Chester Copper Pots. Like one day somebody's gonna follow me down. Oh, here. look, look, look! They found this. Yeah. Which it makes absolutely no sense at all. Yeah. What? Well, like, why is this doing this? The fact that you don't believe that pipes just hang around in caves <laughs> is it, it, it's upsetting. It's like when it's it's like when like a little kid doesn't like believe just, in Santa. Just hang around in yeah. caves. Yeah, <laughs> they're just. <laughs> You've you've seen you've seen all those beautiful like cave know, photos where there's like they, loose, they, co- it was like loose they pipes. They riled them up so they're still going. Yeah. It's like oh, we're all worked up. Yeah. Tonight. We're all going it's, up now. Well, it's because you have to call the plumber. You're like the pipes <laughs> disappeared again. You know how they want how they want yeah, to do. Yeah, the fucking even yeah. the you know even yeah. the turning knob for yeah. the water so, sucked into the fucking wall. So the uh, the plumber's got his extra long needle nose pliers and he's trying to like <laughs> muscle them back up. That's what's going on. Uh, oh fuck! This is like she fun. thinks it's Josh Brolin. Yeah. See, this is cool too. Back in the day, Friends he's underage. Yeah. Make out with that fucking well, touch his penis. No, we didn't. We didn't think that this was a great idea when uh, when it happened in Weird Science. <laughs> it got, seems wholesome now. It got dark in Weird Science. Did it ever? Well, no, that's when we realized that yeah. what's her name's ass looks like that young boy's ass in the same shorts. <laughs> it's like. Is that what's what's her name? That was potentially the worst moment of my life. <laughs> it reinvigorated yeah. everything I've ever believed. Yeah. So I lost my father fairly young, and that was still kind of worse. That was way worse. That was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the great thing about the eighties, right? Nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. It well, in fairness, who cares? Well, in fairness, like, she's it. also underage. They're none of them are adults. Well, she's way older. It would have been different if it was Heather Langenkamp. Because that was an adult. Heather Locklear? No, Langenkamp. Oh Heather Locklear, God. she would do that shit. I think now, especially, you could get her to French like a 12-year-old boy. 
Absolutely. She was just arrested. She's a mess. She'll yeah. do it. Yeah. If he's wearing like a it leather for If he's wearing so a like, leather vest, it, 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 she'll it, it, think it, it, it's somebody from Poison and just like, oh, I'm going. <laughs> I have to go back to what I know. And <laughs> sucking off a guy with a leather jacket and a mullet. Yeah. That was, um, I still think one of my favorite things was uh, when uh, Triumph the Insult Comic Dog asked Heather Locklear. It was right before the Bon Jovi concert. Like, they let him backstage, and he interviewed them, and it became a part of the pre-show for their concert and stuff. And he's talking to, um, it was literally the last thing, before, like, in their countdown. And he says to Heather Lang, uh, well, I was going to say Heather Lang, he can't forget, Heather Locklear, he's like, Heather. In the 80s, did Richie feather his pubes? And you see Richie, Richie Sambora in the background. He hears that question. And he starts laughing so hard. Like they were, that's what made me like, like not Bon Jovi for their music, but just in general, in general. because they were, they literally were like triumph. Come on the, sh come to our show fuck with us. and fuck with us all day <laughs> he, they got, he got to go on their buses and make fun That's of their amazing. roadies he got to like he got to go on stage and like he wrote uh, they, when they did you give love a bad name he was saying you give poop a bad name <laughs> uh we missed when she went through the doorway there's a couple yeah. scenes here yeah. where you get to see up uh, what's her name skirt Okay. The red haired girl. Yeah. You well, missed one. Oh, well, as we just confirmed, she's right under up her skirt. As we confirmed, she's under I know that's what I'm saying, but you can see it. right in there. Yeah. Wait, there's another one coming up. Yeah. I'll tell you when it's coming. I get it marked. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> it's the only thing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching I'm watching Todd's copy. It's <laughs> very sticky. <laughs> it's an old VHS. Skips a lot. Skips certain <gasps> scenes. Oh, what did my Thank daughter God say? For slick Nikes. Uh, our countdown for our stream has a little, it's very tiny, but it's got a little VHS tape that rotates in the thing. And my daughter saw it and she's like, what is, she's like, what's that box for? And I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and she was playing a game with one of her cousins there. or something on like There's Facebook or oh, whatever. Uh, it was one of her uh, on Facebook messenger or whatever. And she had to draw us cassette tape. And my wife was like, do you even know what that is? She's like, no. And so, yeah, we're going to. What I saw off. somebody with a shirt on <clears throat> and I was like, that's rare. Do you even know? Yeah, exactly. In this day and age. Yeah. I can't remember what it was. I know I saw somebody wearing a Zeppelin shirt. Yeah. And I was like, do you even know who Led Zeppelin is? Yeah. And they were like, stairway to heaven. I was like, okay, good enough. I was like, <laughs> I'm sure that's the only song. Yeah. I'm not going to push it. No. Total yeah. flip. Mm -hmm. Turn inside out. Yeah, as long as it's not it. Yeah, that was pretty fantastic. But there was somebody wearing like a retro shirt as well. And I was like, do you even know what this is? They were like, no. And I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, uh -huh. you can't wear the band shirt. Yeah. You've never fucking heard of the band. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> like this band. Well, no, I, I get the Ooh, band. Who's the band? Band name. Mm -hmm. Here. Oh, I don't know. This is their background. This is the keyboard. Oh. The main person is a keyboardist. Yes. And this is their keyboard. What's the band name? Yanni and the Acropoli. <laughs> yes. did, it, did that do it? Um, no, but what I was going to say, um, Chris Columbus, I feel like this was him working out his like two bad guy pratfalls before right. Home Alone came along. Oh, yeah. It was like, it was like, that was, that was like, he, it he, makes it less yeah. scary. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like, I think that it gives it a PG. If they were really coming after them and like, oh, yeah. fine, they're killing yeah. people and oh, Jesus, it would be way, way more money. Occasionally cutting but off it, one of Chunk's thumbs. Yeah, exactly. He's you can only do that. Thumbs. You can only do it twice. Oh, yeah, yeah, lots of thumbs he's got. <laughs> this guy's swimming in thumbs. What's the name of this band? Uh, Keys, Skull, Keyboard. Key Skull, Keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Oh, Lordy. <laughs> I know they're not good because she can barely do it and she almost murders them. So you know you're no, not. No, a, she's, already, she's the only one, right? Yeah, no. she's there. Yeah, Thank it's God. Fair. Yeah. I like that everybody has one specific skill. Everybody is completely useless minus one thing and exactly. it all comes in handy. That's right. Like if we were in one of these and they would ask me some kind of uh, movie trivia. Awesome. Yeah. Anything else, we're fucking dead. <laughs> we're dead. That'd be the We're best. Dead. It's like, yeah, it's one eyed Willie has a has a thing. He's got a lot on Star Wars. Yeah. Yo, girl, thank God. Yeah. You're up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's General Veers. Now what? <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then the treasure just starts dumping on me. They're like, all right, I give up. This is a good. Ski. Oh, is that the Joker? Skulls. Mm. It's probably Gollum. 
It's got to be pirate. Maybe a little pirate theme. Thing. Pirate. Like, ugh, fuck. I'll get it. The lead singer could be Davy Jones. Yeah. Oh. Huh? Still regret not seeing him before he died. <laughs> I had a chance to see Is him for B-boys? free. Is he No, monkeys. Oh, monkeys. Cheer Who's up, it? sleepy Jean. Oh, what Who's that? Is it Brian Wilson? Yes. He's the... Yes, he's he's yeah. the, he's the crazy guy who made Beach Boys cool. God only knows what I'd be without you. You know, Steam Keys. Yeah, I wonder if they knew that Steam Keys. Steam Keys. Okay. Fine. I uh, my hey, the best band name I ever came up with was Bosom Foot. So. <laughs> Like, and I, I feel literally like that drew, would be like uh, I drew a foot with a boo on it for the cover. <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> Bosom foot. That's like your... And the best thing is, is now that I say it again, <laughs> I'm proud of it again. I said I'm bosom back. foot. I'm like it's back, I baby. It's almost like chicken foot, only now, way more. Now that I know how to better. do some graphic design, I'm really gonna <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna d- double down on bosom foot. Bosom foot. Oh. oh my god, for fuck's sake. She just got like triple impaled by that thing, by the way. That's pretty great. Oregon. That's when you find out you had to play it wrong, because that's how you get to the treasure. What, what would you call like your skull hand? Your skeleton your hand? Skeleton hand. You don't have a yeah. Uh, that's the band's name. Skeleton hand. There you go. Fucking A. Boom. Okay. I'm on top of skeleton. Skeleton hand. hand. Fucking A. That's fine. Here they come. Oh fuck. Come on, play it, girl. Play it, girl. Here there it is. Go. Big old Here's, chain holding uh, on to also that. Also, my other thing, he was strong enough to have been able to boost all the kids up for that last. Like it was like it was like three quarters of the way down. It was like, yeah, he could he could have hopped up there. That's <laughs> it's like, no, it doesn't work unless it's completely <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. I'm telling you, Richard Donner, watch, there's gonna be another yeah. one. Get that map. Nope, not that time. See, he didn't want to shoot her. He was just like, Got Mom, I'm her skirt. To well, I know I don't. Couple in there, yeah. you pretend you didn't see it. Uh, yeah, I would love. She's just her. playing an underager. Now she's not <laughs> underage. This so watching yeah. it and looking up her skirt is like totally fine. No, it's the opposite. Oh, I still have that problem. <laughs> it's like a, it's it's much it's worse. Like time. Yeah. Pedif- it's like re- reverse pedophilia. Yeah. No, but I still have that problem. It's like, you know, like we've talked about it before where you like, you've seen like a girl, she was like a child star, but now like you see her naked in movies. And I'm like, no, that's not okay. She was like DJ's friend in Roseanne. Now I'm watching her get fucked. Like, I don't need this. <laughs> I, I don't need that. <laughs> it's, no, but it's I would just. I totally respond to Like he's really yeah. selling it. Fucking right. Or wouldn't this is. be, wouldn't this be an amazing like universal studios? Yes. Like, like this could be like come an island of adventure. And boom. When you come out, there's a huge boat. That, that would be, be so an, killer. This is how you enter the park. You gotta be able to swim though. An in, Jesus Christ. An all indoor water park. And that's your entrance as you go, you go in and down here. And then it looks like this is a big ass wave pool. And so this is what's really cool. Richard Donner did not let anybody see this ship until this scene. No way. These are their natural reactions. The only one who's not their original reaction. Tall ship. Yeah. I can tell you yeah. something right now. Mm-hmm. I work on boats. Yep. I have a strong affinity for this. Yep. Tall ships. They're beautiful. All wooden. Fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. I wish... You can't work on these, though. If you want to go on one of these, yeah. you are spending a shit ton of your own money, mm-hmm. and then you're just working like a slave on it. Yep. Oh, you're, yeah. just, you're working. You're pulling a lot. It's just like, this is for 19-year-olds who their family has tons of money. You go on an adventure. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, there's no fucking way. Yeah. Yeah. Your best case scenario is you under like un- underneath with, like, those big long oars. Yeah, no, no, we're whipped. totally in the back. You mm-hmm. wish yeah. that you were the... Boom, boom, boom. We're not. We're, we don't have the rhythm. No, I do not. I, I was both gonna... pulling roars. Yeah. No, I'm like, boom, 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 boom. And like, we're just going around in a, <laughs> in a rotating circle. You're just like, you're fucking it right up. This is not it. Look yeah. at how beautiful this set is. It's awesome. 
I love a good set. Yeah. But I the, love yeah, a good set. But yeah, I guess when they decided to make it like a full on thing, they were like, nobody's allowed to know. But yeah, the only person whose reaction you didn't see there was uh, Josh Brolin's because when he saw it, he literally just yelled out, he's like, holy shit. <laughs> and like, and that's <laughs> not that even true. Is that yeah, true? Uh, well, according to my research, right. I mean, it's holy shit. <laughs> but, but, I, but it's not even out of thing. Like they said, they, they say a version of holy shit or shit like 10 like 10 to 20 times in this movie except um, uh, data one point says holy s-h-i-t because he promised his mom he wouldn't swear in the movie right so he's so he spelled oh, out the, swear. the actual actor himself yeah. was like i won't swear in this movie yeah mom. he like, like right. she's like i don't want she's like i don't want to hear you saying you bad language be in one of those movies with swears yeah you're gonna be in one of those swears movies i would be well, like, i'm not even seeing it yeah I would be like, you could be like fucking like a soprano <laughs> and just be like, fuck it, motherfuckers. He's <laughs> totally right. He's like, I'm tired of falling. I'm tired of skeletons. Yeah. Fuck this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they always. Oh, fuck. I would love to find something like this, man. Yeah. This is where you find like Zelda. Yes. Some old pirate shit that you go dig around in. Oh, I was just trying to think. Oh. It was Fable. I was like, what game was it that I was playing that had like a whole pirate like side quest, like a D like a DLC side quest? And yeah, Fable. It, was, it was Fable. It's a good game. I love Fable. You know what it is though? And I, I, I realized that I'm like, my favorite games to play were the Knights of the Old Republic and Fable. And I'm like, I like that I like the replayability of being able to choose what you do. Oh dude, that Witcher 3 game, man, I haven't mm -hmm. even fucking begun the game. Yeah. And I'm like a hundred hours in. Yeah. I'm doing every side. I can't even believe how many yeah. side quests there are, but then they lead into videos and like, oh, like, yeah. oh it's fucking crazy. But I was just talking about oh, like the choice. Girl. I was just talking about like the choice between well, yeah, good and evil. Right? right. Well, no, in, in, in the Witcher three, there's lots of like, oh, is there that too? If you do this, it totally shapes everything. Oh, there's interesting. tons of moments where you like you got to go this way or that way. Nice. There was a game like for PlayStation like two or something like that. I don't remember what it was, but there was a game like that. It was a pretty big one. It was a space related one, but they were like every decision you make affects mm -hmm. other rest. And this is what kills me yeah. because like, I'm gonna spend three hundred hours on this game and then I'm gonna play it again so I can go try the other options. Like Jesus God, I would. I oh yeah yeah because I'm telling you I, I have to go back to this game like fuck. I'll tell you what though, because like I've I've been streaming um, Knights of the Old Republic. I've done two day. I've done well, not two was whole that days. GameCube game. What Knights of the Old Republic? No, it's computer. Yeah. It was a computer game that it got released on Xbox, but like it, okay. was, it was a computer game. Thought, what was the one for? Wasn't Knights of the Old Republic on GameCube? Wasn't it the old no. one not Knights no. of the Old Republic? What the fuck was the name of it? Anyways, I don't know. but yeah, it's um, I've been doing that one again, and I've literally been struggling to like make it, it was like uh, the bad guy i was i noticed that i made no like dark side decisions through the whole thing and i hadn't made like a conscious effort one way or the other and i'm like okay so the second stream i'm like okay i'm gonna do one dark side thing i gotta do one dark, and i couldn't bring myself to do it <laughs> you can do the dark right but That's i ended why up you have to go through yeah. the whole time yeah. yeah like i ended up getting like doing one but it was something that i just felt was the smart decision because it was some random guy going oh please don't kill like please don't kill me i know i'm one of the bad guys but i won't like rat you out type thing and i'm like yeah hey, i got you. it sounds risky i'm gonna have to take you out so i took him out and it's like dark side points i'm like no that was a freaking smart move <laughs> yeah like what the fuck right i agree you remember hey what did uh, this here's the here's yeah. fucking i i actually have an eye patch yeah. over my pee pee hole nice and when you pull it off, it goes. Wee! <laughs> so he was born without an eye. So why does he have his patch? Like it would just be like a skin over the eye thing. He's tired of people making fun of him. I really like that. So that's why they call you one eyed Willie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Sean Aston. Maybe it was like he, it could have been like he has no eyes. He has yeah. his third eye wide open. <laughs> I had a little bit of a fit because I was in during my research. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So wait, wait, wait. Why else would they have called him one eyed Willie? I don't he's know. got no penis maybe no maybe it's like he's like you know when they like when they see um like a big guy and they call him tiny i thought it was an right. accident he's like look at this guy with he's two eyes we're gonna, call, eyes. we're gonna call we'll that guy a one-eyed <laughs> yeah like a like a like an ironic nickname yeah yeah no but um i don't know i lost what i was saying it's, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> it's all right is it oh no the novelization 
apparently he discovers what like that time when he's alone with him, he discovers that one eyed Willie also had like an asthma inhaler. And I'm like, what? I was like, I don't think they had inhalers back then. Like, this is a real thing. This is a real thing. I, I read and I'm like, I don't know what it was. I don't know if maybe it was supposed to be Chester copper pots or something like that. Right. But they said he found that and he's like, and then he realized, Oh no, I think he did find Chester copper pots. Uh, asthma inhaler. <laughs> but I was like, even that was so long ago that I don't believe, I thought if you, like back then when you had asthma, you just died if you ran. Like that you know, was they had the old school it. inhalers. Yeah. I'd no, love I mean, to have that did. skull. I think you only like you get into an iron lung and that was the end of it. You know what I really like about this? It's one of the only movies where you can get treasure and you don't die because you took the treasure. Right. There's always a curse well, no, to it. Because like he has his yeah. what he wants. He's got his booby traps his to keep Libra you from scale yeah. fucking uh, one there. Yeah, well but there's that thing, but it's like but it's instantly like you can still get out of there theoretically with the right. treasure without like you know Dying. Yeah. Well, well maybe that's the sequel we don't know. Maybe maybe the, it's, m- the shit that mouth took is haunted. That's the sequel. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's basically, it's the, it's not only the sequel to this, it's also the sequel to Final Destination. Right, so no, wait, wait. So I think the only thing that they end up with in the end is the jewels that save the place, and maybe yeah. those jewels are haunted nice. or something. So they have to go solve the curse to, to you know, because they, they bought their house and now it's haunted and blah, blah, blah. So then yeah. they meet up with each other years later. Yeah. Sloth's now a lawyer. I'm down with that. He's doing great. See, so he just punched himself in the face. They make that jacket really puffy when they need to, eh? Like, it's actually quite form. Well, not. It's Gore Tex. Yeah, yes. Come on, for fuck's sake. I was going to say, it's quite thin on him normally. Oh. Jump. Oh, fuck. There it is. Let me help you. Look at that. He's like, don't <laughs> fucking put your fucking sword. So you, you could have had a really bad line there. I've got this little kid's teeth on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I like that they went and got, like, they had guns this whole time, but now they're all, like, with swords. This like, is with, all the money. Yeah. This boat, the uh-huh. indoor, the set here. But it's exactly water, like you said. The, the, the bulk of this was really inexpensive yes. for, from a uh, from a location point of view. It was like, we just have to pour sets. some. Yeah. They said they used something like 900 million gallons or something like of that. Water. Of water. Like, because this jewels. is one giant ass water tank. Jewels. Jewels. Ugh. And then you find out. <laughs> This is such a good scene. Those were one-eyed Willie's anal beads. <laughs> That's <laughs> what he's making that face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> He's paying out. That's the. His, oh that's what his God. curse is. He took one doubloon that's in his pocket. And now his mouth gives treasure. He oh can never. God, it was it. like exactly <laughs> every time he barfs or coughs or. Yeah. See, this is it. The boat fucks off. Yeah. In the end. Yeah. But the treasure they used to have the house is cursed. I'm down and with And they got to lift the curse. Yeah. Oh, my God. Every time they say brand, I think Briand. Yeah. Which is my family name. Yeah. Not mine. Yeah. But people I know yeah. that claim yeah. to be my family. Yeah. Blah, whatever. <laughs> I, I know them well. They uh. do not. They do anything <laughs> but claim to be your family. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So push me around, yeah. motherfucker. Here we go, man. Yeah. Here we fucking go. This is good. I want to do a walk. Th- I want to walk a plank so badly. I know. Here we go. Fuck yeah. I don't think that this would slow you down nearly as much as you think. I think they <laughs> did a Mythbusters on that now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Speaking of Mythbusters, too, they have, a, well, I, I don't even think it's really on anymore, but there was a, they had like a new generation of the Mythbusters right. after uh, Adam and Jamie left the show. I like they were off for a couple of years and then they had like a Mythbusters reality show. Like it was where it was like, who's going to be the next Mythbusters. And these two guys were on and it's the most, they're so uninteresting. And like the, the ideas they have for the show are so uninteresting. There was one, like the myth is that you like uh, dogs look like their owners and they did a whole thing on that. And I'm like, the, I was like, Adam and Jamie blew shit up. <laughs> yeah, like, and like, like, is this, like they, they built blow any dogs up. They built uh, two, but not on purpose. <laughs> it was like, oh <laughs> man, I, on purpose. <laughs> I accidentally stuck him in the info room. You know how it goes. <laughs> this is a jump oh, rope. Oh, they're taking him back to his childhood here. Yeah. Imagine it went back Don't in time and it showed a little kid with like, and he looks like little Jason, right? I wonder if that fucked up. Uh, 
That is <laughs> that is like Jason with the fucking yeah. paper sack <laughs> off. Yeah. Oh man, and then get the, him, sloth. Get him. And then uh, Corey Feldman kills him. This is a weird twist. He this just is machetes him over and over yeah. and over and over and over. And this that's We're just shit now. yeah, that's just a Richard Donner like self congratulations. You're right. <laughs> was this after Superman? Yes, it oh, was. It was totally well after. after Superman. It was well Superman after was like seventy nine or something, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> Francis did it to a toupee. <laughs> <laughs> he reminds yeah. me a lot of Bill Burr. You know Bill Burr? Yes. He reminds me a lot I of Bill agree. Burr. Yes, he does. Yeah. Yeah. They would make they would make good brothers <laughs> in something. I don't wear hairpiece. Yeah. They still look like each because now he they both they're both like shaved heads and I was like they would make. Good I love brothers. that the whole thing too. Remember he's trying to like, you know. Remember we we were gonna get teeth fixed. Francis guy got a new toupee. Yeah. Because if you really care, really throw you know, like you're really gonna, you know, you know what? Okay, well, maybe if you're gonna die, yeah, we right. tongue fucked her hard yeah. there. How are they? Tri- like, are are they standing on the bottom right now? Where? Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> she's like, don't uh, worry about it. I fucked your brother too. Whatever. Yeah, he got he he got way, he got way to like way further base than you did. Oh yeah. She's like, don't just don't even <laughs> tongue bang me. That's all he says. No, it's not. He said some other things there. Yeah. Uh, oh, you've been bad. Oh, my God. I just picture him, like, pulling her I arms like, off. When like, he picks her up end. here, it looks like she's way heavier. Yeah. Then, you know, she's, like, pure dead weight. <clears throat> oh, slothy. She... <laughs> <laughs> this is, like, what you say to me every night. Constantly. Uh, and I sound like that, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, I like you was chained up, but I put things up your butthole. A mix yeah. of a mix of bronchitis and secondhand smoke. <laughs> exactly. You don't have an uncle. <laughs> oh, that's actually starting to bother my throat now. Just doing that voice, I don't deserve it. We gotta go back to. De- <laughs> I don't deserve it. I'm not worthy of it, or it would it dude, projected well, worthy of a dirty throat problem. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, so that's clearly what happened yeah. to him. I only dropped you once. Oh that, my god. That uh, like legitimately when I finally look, like, look, look, look. Yeah. She's like, oh yeah. he picks her up. Oh no, yeah. he is pretty good. She looks he, heavy though. Look, look, he's like, holy yeah. fuck, you're heavy lady. Yeah, he's like, I, I think it's the fact out. that he's like having to sidestep though. He's not like on a proper base doing that, right? <laughs> you're not like squared <laughs> away. You're like, like wiggling. And everybody's uh, look at that weird dive. <laughs> that was a weird <laughs> dive. <laughs> <laughs> can I he be was like flexing? Can I be honest? Though? Like- <laughs> I'm so I'm so poor at diving. I guarantee you this. Even from that height, I would have. Yeah, no, I know. But even from that height, I still would have belly flopped. <laughs> I still yeah. I get like with, with a full attempt at doing a proper dive. What did a flip land in my fucking back? Like a he looks flop. so different. The, the the irony is that he would probably be the one called Chunk if in the sequel, right? Because he's a he's a bigger dude now. And they live, right? Because yeah. it's such a movie that these guys, right? Because mm-hmm. th- they're good. Yeah. Even though they were going to kill these kids, yes. they can't die. No. They have to be taken to justice. Yeah. Yeah. Don't find the gold. Just go down there and grab whatever's left. Wouldn't have been way better. Fuck? Like, and then go back the way you came because everything's, it's already done. Yeah. Oh, no, no, they fell through a thing. Yeah. Like, that big slide. I still don't understand all of this. So like, you know, how, like, they're kind of completely encapsulated inside a mountain, and they break out, and they... Oh, because she's, look, yeah. this is Willie's. I know. But, like, this seems to be, like, a big... And it was Mama that did yeah. it, not the stupid dudes. Yeah. I like, like, how, how, um, like, there's so many cobwebs and, yeah. you know, all this shit, but it, but it still works. Yeah. It's been there for a century. That would have been the best. She pulls the thing and the string just breaks so nothing else gets <laughs> exactly. triggered. Exactly. Like, what the fuck? Like, and you see one eyed Willie just like, look, his head just kind of goes to the side, like, oh. <laughs> Chester Copperpot. Uh oh. Oh, yes. So can I don't, re- oh, it's I don't remember this. Flare. Okay, this just answered a lot of the questions, a lot of my complaints that go. I was just having. Oh. Uh, I was like a real kind of explosion too. It was oh fuck, yeah. oh it just got worse. Oh shit! Now the whole place gave it in. <laughs> Vibrated everything. It's going down. Get him out of there, sloth. 
a big rock. And slam. What a fucking thing. They, do they have this? Like, that looks all fake, but the ship is real? The What's ship? Real? Well, I mean, I'm sure, like, it's like a scaffold thing holding up right. two pieces like this, right? Looks but, good, though, man. But, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it's a no. It's a hell of a piece. It's a big soundstage too. It's they're on a big, uh, like a water oh tank soundstage, oh right? My god. Like Avatar five through nine. Oh my god! Don't even get me started. Go. This is the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we didn't talk anything really about um, uh, money. I didn't see exactly how much money they made. They made like look, huge... he's so torn. I know they they made chunks it... going under his mom's calling him. He's rubbing his head on his balls there. Um, but yeah, so the movie cost nineteen million to make. Nineteen uh, mil. Yeah, and it um it was I didn't see the number uh, like how much it made. It was a huge profit though. But it made it was the number eight movie of nineteen eighty five. The number uh, one. It, it was no, uh, the number one for that year was uh, Back to the Future. Right? Same guy. Yeah, same guy. Same there, guy. It was all hit. Yeah. Right, Richard uh, Donner. No. Zemeckis. Zemeckis. Yeah. They're the same guy. Ah, fuck. They pretty much are the same goddamn <laughs> yeah. guy. Spielberg, though. Same guy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it was the number eight movie of, uh, eight, of 85. It never reached number one. The it, number eight movie. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, it was numbered. It debuted number two, and that's the highest it ever went uh, behind Rambo First Blood Part Two. So, the two weeks in a row, Rambo beat it. Uh, week three, Cocoon came out and knocked those ones down. So, it went down to number three. Went down to number five when Pale Rider and uh, St. Almost Fire came out. And then Back to the Future came out in uh, week seven, in its seventh week. Or, no, in its fifth week. And uh, just knocked it out altogether. That dude does really look like Stephen King, eh? Yeah. I think the, the news is there. Yeah. He's like St- Professor Stephen King. <laughs> so a lot <laughs> of the families, so you can, you'll can you actually see uh, Chunk looks a lot like his mom. That is Jeff Cohen's mom. Oh, it's his actual mom. It's his actual mom. They let a lot of the actual family be there because like it's like that that was her parents and stuff. It was basically if you didn't have a line, you could see look look how much she looks like him. <laughs> you have some dominoes. Uh, I love- <laughs> <laughs> what a good mom. I feel bad though because like <laughs> you you've you've got your kid in this movie being the fat kid and now you're in this movie being the fat mom like making the fat kid fat. So what? I love it. I love uh-huh. it. Yes, I love this. I wish my mom brought me a fucking pizza when I <laughs> stopped a goddamn onslaught. Yeah. You know? You've caused more onslaughts than you stopped. <laughs> I love this. This true. is actually, like, my favorite, like, <laughs> moment. You get those, like, father-son moments, right? Cantonese. Mm, you can't hug a photograph. You can hug this. Yeah. You can fucking hug this. All right. Bring it here. You're my best invention because he's a robot, which we've exactly. already figured out. Yep, exactly. Yeah. There's like the, oh, I, oh, I thought there was a signi- in the sequel. I don't know because I thought there was or a significant they, age difference. Or are they them. divorced? Oh, They've they would been be together. Divorced. Now they're divorced in the new one, our new one. Yeah, they would be divorced. It's um, but like, they're still in love with each other. Yeah, right. No, so they'll get back together during the movie. They're like um, rekindle. A little they're like Michael Michael Douglas and Kathleen Turner, constantly fighting just and then just anger, throwing fucking. Danny DeVito around yeah. like it's nothing. Yeah, it's like I picture like some of the people stayed in town, like some of the people moved away and then like the ones they stayed in town and like Mikey stayed in town or something like that. And then it's like they're fighting and fighting. And then all of a sudden they're having sex on the table in front of everybody. It's like best to just let him finish. Do you know what she, do you, what she just said to him? No, what? She's like, if you keep kissing girls oh, like that. Yeah. The parts the of you, parts that, don't of you work, that don't work so well will catch up. Yeah. So wow. I was, so I was like, yeah, so your dick doesn't work, but it's wow. going to one day. And I'm like, guess what? So, it's the I'll first thing that works on a I'll be with your brother. So. Yeah. So like, wow. you and you can get hard when you're a little kid. You just can't unload. <laughs> so really, like, I understand. I understand why. Uh, why in weird That's science funny. they were going for Dude, it. Dude, I can tell you something right now. What? The first time I ever blew my load. I don't want to hear. Was it. when I was waiting for you and your mother when I lived oh on Bradmonton. Yeah. Bradman. Yeah. Down down the hill around. This is a great story. You were coming to pick me up to go to the movies. Yeah. And, you know, just like you said. We shared popcorn that day. <laughs> I never washed at all. Of I, course I did. I got extra butter. But I would jerk off mm-hmm. and I would 
you know, the process would happen as if you would ejaculate, but it wouldn't because I, yeah. I'm not there yet. <laughs> Just a trombone sound can it wah, wah. Exactly. And then I remember that day, it had been so long since yeah. I had jerked. Yeah. I also feel bad in a God level ball, you know, whatever. Yeah. And like, as if God doesn't want you to jerk off or something. This he is... wants you to big time, big time. Anyways, so I was jerking. Yeah. And then blew my load and it was ungod. It was the first time I've ever blown my load. All over the toilet, everywhere. And I knew that you got, I could hear, I think somebody was knocking on the yeah. door and I was like, uh, oh my God, like. What happened to me? I just remember coming around late, like, like 20, 15 minutes late. Hey. Coming around and up, and you guys being like, "What the fuck happened?" Whatever. That's honest to God, the truth. Oh my God. That's a f honest to God. We were waiting to go to the movies or somewhere. <sighs> Your mom, you, you came to pick me up. It was awesome. Oh man, that's crazy. Yep. Well, I'm glad that went. I'm glad that went over the "I love you" chunk <laughs> scene. <laughs> that was well worth. That's it. what I said um, when I blew it. I hear you. Um, so in the uh, novelization, uh, they go further. They do like a little bit of an apologue. And uh, the um, uh, you find out that they did indeed adopt Sloth, and that they bar mitzvahed him. <laughs> so now he's like he's Jewish and the whole deal. <laughs> you know the one's his name there. The kid yeah. just was like, I sure miss being a goonie. Yeah, you're st you're standing. No, there. I think you I thought he finished. said. No, I thought he said I sure gonna miss being. A oh, goonie. okay, right. I was uh, like, you're still a goonie. You're still there. No fear, man. No pen. No, no uh -huh. pen. No right. No, no white. No fireman, no white fireman allowed. She should be. You no should find way. out. Like all the all the rich people houses, hers is next to him. They gave her like a big chunk of change because that, like they be should say that'd be amazing. Her next door house is doing amazing, and there's the shit. She's so and now she, she has. A she's Latino. so rich. No, I was gonna say she's so rich. She's got a white maid. Yeah. Fuck that. It's the mom. Get a little reverse. It's the mom. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, I wanted to talk about, we. I promised I, I teased some uh, maritime law. <gasps> That's right. So according to International Maritime Salvage Law, the rights to a salvage vessel, vessel and its contents go to the person or persons who first successfully bring something off the vessel in question. That means that Mikey owns all of it. Every every bit of the treasure, including what's on the boat, belongs to him. So, By okay, law. so so if you go, mm -hmm. you find a wreck. Yeah, you take one coin from it. You come off and you go and you. That means that is yours. Yes. Cool. Uh, I I don't know I don't know what steps you have to take so to that prove is, that. Okay, so that is wait. So that's a part of our sequel. Yeah. He owns that boat. That's yeah. technically his boat. Yeah. And when they find it, there could be some other people who have found it floating, and now they've taken it Word over. Of, yeah. Captain Phillips. Yeah. Irish. Irish. What? That's what they call them. Oh, Irish. Irish. Oh, okay. Irish. Okay, I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now, Irish. That guy's still there. <laughs> He's always been there. He's like, if, He's like if, Jack Nicholson is shiny. He if, never left. If we can get him a weekend off from his limo job again, <laughs> that makes me still makes me sad because I was like, <laughs> I mean, he, he got an, he got an, he got an, he was literally like a limo driver. Yeah. And then he like I gets like, an Oscar <laughs> nomination and it got him nothing. Yeah, like there's, I was like, yeah, he it was might only be one like, of those ones where like we have to put black people in there. Yeah, which literally, okay. yeah, I know, but that was fun, and that's all well and good. But you would think, you know what? It's interesting. There, there are black actors. Like I don't think that the guy that like, there like black you actors. know, the, <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesus I'm God. sorry, everybody <laughs> who's ever known me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> There's something for the best of episode. Uh, not this one, because this is the, now I gotta keep this all the way for season, the end of season five. Season Our, five. Can't wow. believe. Can you believe? I didn't know. I think in ten we're gonna hit our stride. Yeah, I think so. Really thin. We should. We should. I, I think we'll really see some listeners by that point. <laughs> I'll still be. I, I'll still be wandering around one of the like friggin' mazes in uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Going, I used to know how to do this. Uh, Just keep your fucking hand. Okay, the idea in, oh, in any maze yes. is you take your right hand, yeah. you put it to the fucking wall, yeah. and you do not let that yeah. hand go, and you go all the way, and you'll find your way out. Yeah, I learned Do not that. take your goddamn right hand off I learned of that from the last season of Oz. <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> yes. They were... Um, he they had that he put that walking maze in the gym. That's right. And he was and he talked about that and he's like, but you can't do that. And then uh and then the uh surly 
cynical uh, CO who was with him. He's like, hey, Ooh, these- that was a lot. It was a uh, um, surly cynical CO. I know. It was, Ooh, a, lot, I like it was, that. It was a lot to deal with. Um, but he was like, yeah, these dinks are just going to go right, just walk over the lines anyways. They're just going to cheat. And I'm like, uh, all right, well, at least. <laughs> yeah. you, know. you know, that's also true. Like if you're in a fire, you're in your house right now. Put this your hand space, on the wall. <clears throat> this space. Yeah. It's fucking covered in smoke. I'm yeah. sure you know where the goddamn door is. No, hey, this but happened. If you didn't. Yeah. You know, you hit the ground. You find a wall. Left hand. You'll you'll find find your way to a door. Find, find you'll find your way somewhere. Oh no! But here's one problem. What if I touched this wall? It's an island wall. So I would just keep you walking just around, around in circles until you die. Until yeah. we die. I got us out. We had a fire, and I got us out while there was smoke pouring into this place. So, huh? Yeah. Remember that was uh, she was pregnant with uh, Abby. And like eight months pregnant, because uh, she gave yeah she gave birth in February. It was it was like late December. It was like just, it, were, it was just before Christmas, and there was a fire. Uh, somebody's like rascal scooter. The battery exploded. A rascal scooter. You know, like those like little old people scooters, yeah, yeah, right? Okay. So um, so it exploded. Their fucking uh, lithium battery blew up. Yeah. And what happened then was uh, they evacuated their place, but they disabled the little thing that automatically closes their door behind them. So smoke was just billowing out through the apartment, went up both sets of stairs. We are next to a stairwell. So what happened is some came in through this way, but also came up and we're up, we're up near the top floor. So it came up and over and in the open windows. You know what you need to have? Hmm. Just in case. What? A rope ladder. Yeah. Like an old, I don't mean like a rope yeah. with knots. I just mean like an old yeah. boat. You know what I mean? Yeah. You never fucking know. No, I with know. With a big, long thing, you just throw it at one of the windows, yeah. climb down the goddamn thing. Yeah. I mean, it would be awful because well, you were in the seventh floor here. Yeah. But no, it was because it was all pouring up here. I was able to get her across mm-hmm. and bring her down because I was like, we would have been safe. You're fucking hero. I know. I thought so too. But uh, she lost the baby. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. It's Abby. She's alive. She's she's guest hosted this podcast. He, he, he she meant makes that sense. she lost the baby for a moment. Yes. Like not all together. Like I'm, where's the baby? Oh, yeah. right there. Yeah. Uh, through oh, all the smoke, there, I couldn't yeah, see my exactly. stomach. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that was, yeah, that was. And then we proceeded to have like several other fires that followed that in the like that coming. He also lit. No, in the coming year. And then it turned out that it was some dude who was a friggin' pyro was like starting fires and then it started going way back so basically uh the one time there was this fire we're all outside and abby was a baby and he goes and this drunk dude comes up he's like you're a cute little baby and he like went to like rub her cheek and i like i like was like hand on him and i'm like back up yeah don't touch my fucking kid and then he was like wandering around i guess he was doing it to a lot of people and then i saw cops put his face against the wall like he put him up against the wall, and like I was like, "Oh man, he did something." And then well, good uh, thing you didn't let him touch your baby. Yeah, right. And then he I continued to live there. And then there were all these stories. And then he was like, he said, apparently he like complained to the super. He's like, they uh, somebody was lighting, uh, they like writing threats on my door, and they're like lighting paper on fire underneath my door and stuff like that. And uh, so finally, like I guess lighting a piece of paper and then slipping it under yeah, the door. That's what they were saying. That's what he said. And then uh, so he the fuck. Well, and so here's what murder this guy. Well, and no, but you gotta let me finish the story. So the uh, the the cops come and they're like, we need to distract that guy because we're gonna put a camera on his door. Like we're gonna, like in the like fire exit sign, we're gonna put a little hidden what camera. What was this? This was like nine years ago. Okay. And um, so they uh, he put a little camera. They were pointing it at his door, and he comes out. And the movie's over, but I'm gonna finish the story. Fuck who cares? And then and he um he comes back up, and then they look at the camera and they watch him write the threat on his own door and light pieces of paper on fire. He'd been lighting fires forever, so they inv- they arrest this guy for uh, arson because he started. They know he started several fires, not the big one, but right. other ones. And then they start looking back at this guy, and they're like, "Wow, there was a ton of fires in this building that he lived. Like, actually, where near where your dad lives, uh, there was a bunch of fires there." He was, yeah, maybe he, he lit the fucking. He my did. Dad, he did. Really was kicked fire. out yeah. of there. Well, yeah. he had to go because his place yeah. was on fire. Oh no, he. Uh, well, I don't know about that. Yeah, I I just know about the apartment building that's over there. There were a bunch of fires. Well, my dad had to there. move yeah. out of there because there yeah. was a huge fire. And oh, he was putting in a hotel and blah oh, blah blah. There you go. So there was that stuff going on. And then they found out that his wife died in a fire. 
Oh. And it just became this whole big oh. thing. I was like, whoa. Like, but he got arrested and that got, got dealt with. He's my babysitter. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's all worked he out. He seemed really interested Damn, in my kids. Crazy. What? Yeah, it was. A, and his wife also died in a fire. Yeah. Well, what do you know? I know, right? So How it was, are they going to fucking find these things? I have no clue. What the fuck? Like, I have no clue. Clearly, yeah. he murdered his wife. That's what I, that, that was what I figured. Um, all right. So, yeah, that's how he ended maybe, it. Wait, maybe yeah. that was oh. the one, because you can't say, oh, he did, did not. Yeah. Maybe it was like, it, this time was an accident. Yeah. He's been lighting fires for or, years, and then suddenly his Or maybe he lights just, fires because she died in a fire. Right. Ooh. Is this part of our sequel? Yes, it is now. <laughs> Which one is this chunk? Chunk two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. No, it's definitely mouth. It's definitely oh, mouth. Yes, agreed. All right, guys. That is it for this one. Season five underway. I'm gonna try and fit. Oh no, because it's not gonna matter because I hit. Uh, I was gonna say I hit record too early. I was gonna try and end this right at two minutes, but. Two won't, hours. That won't be possible. Yes, you can. Or two do hours. Go. Well, no, but even if I do, the episode won't be two hours long. It'll be, it doesn't matter. Oh, well, for fuck. It doesn't sakes. matter. Um, anyway, so follow us on Twitter at Miscast Podcast. I'm at JK Finley. Todd's at Miscast Todd. Follow us on Twitch. Miscast Commentary. Twitch.tv slash Miscast Commentary. Uh, you can find the links on the website and stuff like that. What is the website, you ask? MiscastCommentary.com. That's the website. Uh, I'm glad there was a rhetorical because I. Yeah. It's probably. <laughs> What's the name of this show? Is the Rogan Podcast? Ta- Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> Table TV Podcast. What? What now? Skull Hand. Skull Hand. Skeleton Hand. Skeleton Hand. Ooh, Skull Hand, though. Ooh. Skull Hand. Skull Hand sounds better, but is literally nothing. Well, what's anything? That's fair. It's everything. Okay, here's the thing. Is, right. is, is, is our band going to be Skull Hand or Skeleton Hand? I'll put out the, uh, I'll put out the um, poll on Twitter. Yeah. All right. Oh, name like name our band. Uh, Todd's leaning towards Skull Hand. That's, that's not even mine. <laughs> Todd, named the, Fuck. Todd, Todd named the band, but <laughs> we might be going the other way. All right, guys. We will see you next week. Coming attractions. What's the next movie going to be? We haven't decided yet, but we do have one in the can, and we might just go with that. So fuck it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Catch you later. (laughs) This has been Miscast Commentary with your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Executive producer, Joe Finley. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for all news related to the podcast. Miscast Commentary is a Miscast Media Production.